Um, for some reason, my keyboard, this one is out of charge, I guess. It's a, I mean, it makes sense that I would have to charge it at some point, but um, I cannot find, I cannot find the thing to plug it in to charge it. So I just, I got another keyboard. What up? Happy Saturday, y'all. I had um, a hipster ask me where I got my scrunchie today, so I feel like I'm seeing New Year in with a bang. My refrigerator broke, and so I've had a real drama-rama the last couple days. I've not food I have no food in my house. I did borrow a mini fridge from a friend, and so I got some milk and some basics in there. Um, it is a wireless keyboard problem. I just don't know where. I honestly don't know where that cord is that will charge this thing. I honestly don't even know where it is. I don't know. <laughs> the dishwasher, um, the, the calliope was standing on the door, so now it, uh, it, it thumps when I close it, but it, uh, it will close. So I don't know what she did. She broke it. Uh, T-Square, welcome. Everybody's here. Tariel, Vesua, The Clark, Finley Shards, Rock with a Shotgun, Koshiro, uh, Gord McLeod, Marquez, Teeny Shark, Soylent Heston, Rocket, Soup, Rat with a Shotgun I saw was here earlier. Um, my fridge broke too. I'm living out of the mini fridge. I know every class because, okay, it's a three-year-old Samsung. I'm going to out them. Okay, three years old. I'm sorry. Uh, a refrigerator. The one I had before that was like 10 years old. Your refrigerator should not break within three years. And of course, it's a two-year warranty, except for the motor. It's, uh, I guess it's one of the electronic boards is broken. And so the repair person has to call on Monday to see if they can send it between three and seven days. And then I went down to see, well, maybe I'll just buy a new fridge. And that was dumb anyway, because hopefully the part is way less than that. But then it's gonna take two weeks to get a fridge. Why doesn't anybody have any appliances in stock in this world? My freezer broke a couple years ago. I still haven't got a new one. Well. This is really dramatic music for the story. Okay, so the game music is really loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Guys, we're going to play a little bit of Disco Elysium. And I'm doing this because I just really want to play this game. It is probably not going to be a good game to stream, so we probably won't stick with it. But I bought it, and I want to play it, okay? I am pretty, uh, why does nowhere in LA come with a fridge? Oh, really? Like, like renting a place? I don't know. Um, is that better? Is that better, guys? Bug929 says, when my refrigerator died, I got a new one the next day in my house, free delivery. So, I don't know. I went to Best Buy. They have that whole appliance thing. I went to Lowe's. They're like, oh, within a week. I'm like, you guys don't have any refrigerators in stock right now? Uh, Ryan has been playing Control. My brother has been playing Control. So, Quantum Delta is going to sleep. Uh, happy that you've been free enough to do this more often. Yes, I try to stream once a week. I apologize to all the people on my Discord. I promised a New Year's stream, and I was literally about to log on to stream, and then my friend was like, hey, where do you want to go? Because they were in town, and I had promised to go to dinner, and I would not put it in my calendar. So, we had a great dinner. Um, it's all good. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have a Sears anywhere near me. Uh, I bought... Well, the problem is, here's the thing. I tried to... I went to an independent store for this other one, right? Because I didn't want to support a big box. And now I'm like, did they sell me a shoddy refrigerator? Like, three years, nothing should go wrong, right? Anyway, I had to throw out all my food. Finally working through your new book. It is wonderful. Thank you, David. I spent $7 on goat milk yogurt that just went bad. Ugh. Anyway. So let's play Disco Elysium. We'll play it for an hour. If it's not fun, then we will change to back to Red Dead, probably. Or Outer Worlds. We'll, we'll do it. Goat Milk Yogurt is the best yogurt. I can't remember the name of it. It's something Hill Farms. Rose Hill Farms or Rocket Hill Farms. I don't know. It's not Rocket Hill Farms. That would be too cold. Sears are all closing down? Oh, that's too bad. Um, oh, eBuzz is now hooked on Haas Flipper again. That's a good, uh, mowing the lawn and got dizzy with the lawnmower. It's really fun. My, hi, Felicia. My boyfriend got me a new book for Christmas. I can't wait to read it. Honey Mage. Lots of people are reading the book for the new year, and they're feeling motivated, so I really appreciate that. Goat it is not Goat Hill Farms, Captain Sardonic. 
Jabez, Happy New Year. Um, I can't wait to hear your disgruntled noir detective voice. Have you played this, Garuda? Golden Ronin? Welcome. All the Discord regs on here. Guys, there is a Discord. It's discord.gg slash Felicia Day. Lots of cool people hanging out there during the week, including me. Jay Holloway followed. Welcome. I have not played Jedi Fallen Order. Is it available for PC? Because that could be something I could get in on. I have not played this yet. No, this is the first time I'm starting it. I did nothing. I'm okay, Ice Spark. It's just my fridge broke. So I have a baby and no food. So that's some... This is the same bag of Rock and Rolls cookies that I have eaten off of, out of, in, for the six, last six, seven months. Wonderful. I think I could leave them exposed to the air and they taste the same, but they are low sugar and delicious. Bloody Albatross is here. Yeah, yeah! Jedi Fallen Order makes redhead Jedi canon. Whoa! Is it for the PC? Can I get it? Mobius here, doing some postmates in. Um, I don't need a back scratcher. I'm cool. All right. Mmm. Rock and roll. Let's do this. If we don't like it, we'll, we'll check in at 8.30. If we don't like it... I have a feeling this is the kind of game I would play obsessively alone. But it's not... It's kind of like Pillars of Eternity. It's just not good um, to stream just because it has too much talking, reading. Vicky Jade said, hello from Down Under. My t town is safely, luckily safe from flames at the moment, but orange dark skies and smoke is thick. Vicky, my heart goes out to you. Everything I am reading is, I mean, I don't know why every single person in the world isn't talking about this, sending aid to Australia. Like, it's just, it's awful. It's awful, and my heart goes out to you, the animals, the environment. Um, be sure to not go outside. Like, when there were fires around here, which were nothing compared to what you're doing, it was hard to breathe outside, and it's really bad for your lungs, so make sure to wear a mask. I don't know. I'm so sorry, Vicky. Okay. Happy New Year from Germany. Guten Tag. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. Why not? This is my kind of... This is my bag, guys. <gasps> Ooh! What? Already in love. The music to your voice ratio is still a bit off. You think I should uh, lower even more? God, it really gets loud here. All right, let's turn the music down. We don't want to hear it. All right, good. Um, Forest Master, welcome. Aria Flame. It's not too bad in Western Australia, but not sure how much longer for. It's just... Uh, guys... Anybody re anybody like podcasts, listen to Fall of Civilizations podcast. Every single episode is fantastic. I, I get There's a four-hour one on the Aztecs I cannot wait to listen to. Actually, one of my goals this year was to support other artists, and I have to subscribe to this guy's Patreon because the research he does is just wonderful. And you'll hear about a lot of the Fall of Civilizations, and all of them um, were kind of triggered by, you know, not immediate. This happened over like 100 years in a civilization, but wealth inequality tipping point climate dis climate change or disaster tipping point collapse okay not to be a downer happy 2020 galactic sean what's up chef mdt2 okay this is great a lot of people are sick in chat so now exactly can't whistle it's fascinating that's a really great book also the guy dan carlin who does hardcore history podcast he just released a book about apocalypses that I have to buy. Collapse Snix is a royalty with cheese. All right. Oh, the nerd of her. Welcome. It's nerd of her's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's all you get. Okay. Um, let's do it. Degeneracy? I don't think degeneracy really had a lot to do with... Oz, Oz, hey. There's a lot of degeneracy in all in all societies, and they do fine with them. Okay. So, archetype, guys. Okay, we have the thinker. I'd love it if I could see a woman, but that's cool. Hopefully we'll get into it. Archetype. Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, and comes up with original ideas. Um, 
Farce Master. Will Felicia Day have another Felicitations podcast next week? I will. I was supposed to do one yesterday, actually, but I didn't, and I won't. So, <laughs> Sarah the Pearl, I'm sorry you're having a bad week, but welcome. We like you here. Garuda says, I vote for thinker. Well, are you a thinker, Garuda? Extremely intelligent, bad with people, knows intriguing facts, original ideas. Okay, so we have one psychology. Your power to influence yourself and others is nothing. Um, physique, not a good body. Intelligence, very high. This is like, um, this is like a house MD or like Tony Shalhoub in that one thing he did. Um, how well you move your body. Not good. Not good. No bonuses. We got a bonus only in encyclopedia with Thinker. Uh, sensitive, very psychological. A magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose their mind. Hmm. Plus one Inland Empire. Well, if you're in, you're you're in all. If you're from Los Angeles, you know the Inland Empire is not the place to be. Uh, yeah. Please send questions for my Felicitations podcast to hashtag Felicitations on Twitter. Sean Sandy Looky Look is one of my favorite favorite people. Because. Be, not because he compiles all the questions, but it's a bonus. He's a great person out, outside that as well. Um, let's create our own, right? Physical. I mean, let's do our own. Let's do our own, okay? Hey, Nikom! LOL, L -O -L, Inland Empire. I know, World with Cheese, it's like seven people here get that. Okay, so. Raw Brain. Now, I suspect this is the kind of game you really just want to go all in in something. You don't want to be like, I'm a three across the board, right? Um, physique? So, how are you so good, Veswa? I'm pretty good. <sighs> Outer Wilds is great. I have Outer Wilds. We, Outer, oh, Outer Wilds. We've been doing Outer Worlds. So, I feel like I want to be emotionally intelligent, right? And I want to be pretty intelligent. And I don't, this is my problem. Like, should we go down and we'll be weak, weak, great, average. This feels better. Your mom says you're all fides. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Jay Holloway, I'm so sorry about your accident. I am sending you good vibes, man. That is really rough. Uh, I, 5421 is fine, said some user. 5. What is 5421 is fine? What about this? This looks good to me. I just want to talk my way out of conflicts. Hey, Ben Smith. Um, we should be weak but super smart. Yeah, so we should be smarter. So we should have one... One int, one sight, nine physique. No, I don't want to be like freaking Donnie Wahlberg here, okay? One, 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 nine. Really? Can't whistle? You be all, mo all motor skills? Oh, boy. I don't trust anything that anyone's saying right now. The question is, do I t go down to one in either physique or motor skills and add to my intelligence? That's what my, um, 4422 is what Joe says. I want to be awesome at something. Oh, Nicole this is my first attempt at socializing since my dad passed away earlier this week. I'm happy to have a fun distraction. Nicole, thank you for being here. My heart goes out to you. And we are here for you. And hopefully we will have an above average time here. Four, okay. Uh, yeah, I do wanna, Lurthus, that's what I was thinking. Four, five, one, two. That was kind of what I was thinking. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be really weak. F three, five, two, two. Three, five, two, two. That was what I was doing. Ah, okay, guys, three, five, two, two, or four, five, one, two. I did the whole game with one physique. I only had to save, save scum a little. I will save scum out the ass. So I'm fine with one physique. Guys, 4512 is what everyone's saying. 4512. Okay, great. 3711. Everyone's being a dick. Okay. 4512 it is. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Um, so, God, this is it. Oh, this is great! True queen of hell. I haven't been invited to a convention in Australia, but I was thinking about going this year because I can leave the baby behind. Sip, 
Siced off. You you don't know me well enough, but you are not a sub, but you know that this is my jam. Just doing this is my jam. Okay, so I have one. So I can... I can set my signature. Okay, so my signature... Okay, I am bad. I have a physical base of one. Oh, Otakota, welcome. Minty Fresh Genocide, this is Disco Elysium. Deuce, welcome. Deuce 69. Okay, Endurance, take the blows, don't let the world kill you. Pain Threshold. Physical Instrument, fresh, flex powerful muscles, enjoy healthy organs. Go to Party Planet, love and be loved by drugs. Raise the hair on your neck, tune into the city. Let the body take control, threaten people. Should we do drugs or shiv shivers? Hmm. Should we do drugs? I feel like this... I'm gonna do drugs. Whoa. Oh, that's my signature. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't want to be, like, defined by it. No, no. 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 Go back. Go back. Go back. We're not... No, we're not gonna just be a druggie. No! 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 Go back! Go back! Okay, we're, we're gonna- we gotta look around, okay? We're not gonna do- okay. Logic. Wield- wield raw intellectual power, deduce the world, encyclopedia, call upon on your knowledge, produce fascinating trivia. That sounds like Lyra from, um, Critical Role. Rhetoric. Practice the art of persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. Drama! Lie and detect lies. Ooh, maybe I should do that. Conceptualize. Understand creativity. See art in the world. I don't know how that could be possible or useful. Reconstruct crime scenes. Make the laws of physics work for the law. Okay. Um, Hand-eye coordination. Note perception. See, hear, and smell everything. Okay, obviously we're not going to make our signature one of our agility things. Savoir faire. Sneak under their noses. Stun. With a meds panache. Hey, deceptive mirror. Bottom left corner to go back. That's fine. Uh, interfacing. Master machines. Pick locks. Oh, I love I love picking locks. Straighten your back. Okay, what about volition? Hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. Hunches and gut feelings. Dreams and waking life. Mm. Empathy. Understand others. Work your mirror neurons. Authority. Intimidate. Assert yourself. Connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. Charm men and women. Play the pup map. Ooh, okay. Okay. What I'm thinking is Inland Empire just for the jokes about Inland Empire in Southern California, which is very local. So I'm thinking drama, either rhetoric or drama, because those are very nice because you can persuade people or lie and detect lies. Uh, I like charming people. Suggestion really is the thing that I think I would like. I mean, drama and suggestion sounds like a powerful comma. Exactly. Those two are the ones that really jump out to me. My first playthrough of this ended when I accidentally killed myself by accident. Well, okay. Um, I mean, electrochemistry would be a different way to go if I was just like playing Donnie Wahlberg, but <laughs> I'm going to do suggestion. Ooh, t six. This is got. This is good. Why are you late? F uh, firelight. I'm not late. All right, let's do it. I love this. I don't know about this one. He's just really puking, or eating. He's either eating an apple core, about to lean in and eat an apple core, or puking something. All right, we're good. Is that it? I don't get to pick my outfit. God damn it! I have watched his dark materials. I was a little bored, but I need to watch a couple more episodes. I finished The Witcher. I have feelings about it. I watched it all, uh, I enjoyed it, and there are so many problems I have with it, and I enjoyed it. No character design. I know, Rocket Soup. I'm so angry. You there get to pick, nothing. you'll pick your outfit in the first part of the game. Only okay. warm primordial blackness. Oh, yes, yeah, a story Your bigger. conscious for men, Cine. Yeah. No larger than a single grain of malt. 
It's Mark you Shepard. You don't have to do anything anymore. Mark Shepard. Ever. Ever. Never. Okay. Ever. I'm gonna simply keep on And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. Uh, no ex-wives are you contained doing? within it. It's Crowley. No ex-wives are kidding. Oh great, it's a misogynist. Oh right, this is lovely. Let's start out putting down women. Great. What about that about the ex something? And awareness creeps up on you. Uh, Mass lies hidden in your dead angle. No, it's Glenn Close. In some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful. A pool of meat surrounding I'm you. A this is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Okay. Meat thing? I want to know about the ex something. Ex love. Hello, boys. Ex tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface the smoke, loss. I'm a reptile and I smoke a lot of cigarettes. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. At least a smoke a pack of Stay. Them. Sail with me through the abyss of pelagic zone. No, I'm gonna pass on this. This is a swipe right kind of Do situation. Really? Or swipe left. Uh, just... Let, let me get off, please. I don't like this date. You wouldn't it's like it if I told you what was back there. Why did you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Oh, oh it's so much of yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we share? I just really love teriyaki sauce. Uh, oh, easy success. Okay, fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Tell me, what's out there? There's this giant ball there, in evil apes, and the evil apes are juking it out on oh the ball. Oh my god, we're in Donkey Kong. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. Okay, how small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. Mm, okay. Dude. Hey, right partner, welcome. Um, it's good. It's nice to see that Tom Waits is giving voiceover work. You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. Okay, and this duking it out, quote unquote, I hear about. What is that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other Riva Lapes in the face. Or you. Dude, know. this sounds like a weird Japanese, like, uh, you know, one of those weird Japanese video games. Like one of those Flash games. Uh, let's beat some apes. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man waiting around you. I wish I could a quote sensation. Tom Waits right, right now. Ugh. Listen, they're all breathing the fires in Australia. Like a not a funny, the not a funny joke. Your conscience so sticks to it. Too soon. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering. I don't understand what's going on, guys. Game. This is how, like Jack Kerouac. You're I've never read any of his stuff, but desert. I picture this is how it's all Hurting. written. Longing. Dancing to disco music. Oh, wow, we're in the 70s? All right, let's do it. Volition, medium success. You can take it, you're a champion. Um, Mother, help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Please, no, I changed my mind. Take me back to the fort. No, I'm not going back to Tom Waits lizard date. I am a champion. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. Oh! And with it, an ungodly headache. This is a lot of acid. I don't know what's going on. This is Disco Elysium, y'all. Um. Uh. Help! Someone cut my head off! It's trying a to murder the rest of me! Penetrates your skull. Trying to force your okay. eyes open. I feel like this sound. is how, like, beat poets would. They do like whatever they did, and they wear black berets, and then they'd be like, infinitesimal mushroom in my meat bag cell. Oh, bye. It's like getting drunk, running in the street, life of reading a Philip K. Dick novel backwards. <laughs> Somehow you know what it is a Cupris Canina motor carriage. All right, well, that's exactly what it is. This will make more sense later, Miss Chief says. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys. It was just a bad trip, y'all. This is what it looks like to go to Hollywood Boulevard. Whoa! I am, 
I got dad bod. I got dad bod. Wow. Wow. Cover it up. Cover it up. All the choices matter in the game, even the dumb ones. Oh, that's cool, Galahad Progeny. So we'll be uh, pretty careful. My face looks like mashed potatoes. I'm sloth from the Goonies right here. I'm s <laughs> I'm sloth from Goonies, okay? I guess my morale is middle. And my health is okay. Wow. Okay, let's put the bell bottoms on. Take all. Oh, this is better. Okay. Um Well, I this is this is two buck chuck right here. That's what you guys heard you guys heard that, okay? You guys heard what was going on. What's this? This reel to tape player is still on, rolling empty. So was I listening to somebody's bad demo tape? This looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Well, if it was what I was imagining, I would not be cool with that. Yeah, put a shirt on, please. Okay, just take it all. Put it on. I am wearing a blazer with no shirt on. Oh, it's such a bad look. Oh, God. It's such a bad look. I gotta go to the shitter. Let's do it. Can we take a bath? Oh, wow. I live in a sh I live in a crap hole, man. Also, turn the water off. Can I not take a bath? I am disgusting. Okay, good. I actually didn't want to wear that. All right, let's go in here. Do we have a better outfit? I can't open this. I must have a, a better pair of pants, please. I mean, there's a there's a toilet right here, Garuda. All right, I can't get in there. Click the yellow circle. Oh, thank you. You hear a jingle. Cle keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. <gasps> it says whirling in rags on the aluminum re key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched in it. It should open the door. Oh, okay. So it should open this door, huh? It should open this door. I better be able to get another pair of pants. Okay, it's not opening this door. Hmm. Let's see what I got here. Look in the mirror. There's an oh, here we go. Thank you, Abby Dewey. A mirror hangs above the bent and broken sink in a fiery, d fierce discharge of masculine enemy energy. God, guys. Oh, God. What is this? Is this toxic masculinity bell bottom edition? Jesus. Is that what you guys do when you have extra masculine, masculine energy? You just like, you just like trash your bathroom? Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot just see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there underneath the soft vapor. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror. You don't look like sloth from Goonies anymore! I clean my bathroom. See, Trencher does! Oh, God! Look at my face! I look like, uh, something on a charcuterie board with a neck. Um, abort, you have clearly not thought this through. You won't like you OC there. You will never unbecome it. Uh, maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's something wrong with my face. There's something wrong with it? How bad could it be? There's bloatedness and swollenness. It's like there's upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Wow! Um, I'm sure everything is fine. Let's just look at the nose. Old charcuterie gym, they call you. <laughs> It's not, your nose feels like a balloon in the middle of your face. I feel like I have body dysmorphia, okay? I feel like I need to go get a little therapy, love myself a little bit more. Um, is my tongue okay? It's swollen, it's snail-like. Well, is there a shell? I'm William Chatner. <laughs> Wipe the mirror. Ah! Holy shit! I did not, I would rather be sloth from Goonies. I would rather be sloth from Goonies. Oh boy. Oh, not only do I not like my face, but <laughs> it looks like me, ouch. Mobius. <laughs> you do not have that hairstyle. Do you have chops with nothing in the middle? That's what I'm hating. That's what I'm ha hating right now. 
We are having some problems. We got like WC Fields knows. That's the problem. Dear Lord, help me. Uh, I'm a superstar. Yes, I'm a superstar. You're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, God. Trying to make an expression with his face? I think it might be because I'm a superstar. I'm just going to play a delusional person, okay? That's not a handlebar mustache, is it? Like, this is like all chop. It's, we're talking half beard at this point. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring this self. No, this is what superstars do. <laughs> oh, boy. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have to warn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Oh, great. Now I'm the Joker. Oh, that movie was so bad. Um, what does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Um, super spartum. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm into it. It's an expression of pain. For, for sure. Um, there might have been 10 years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Hey, hey! Oh my god, I got some... Look, look, look. This is because of my stats. This is because of my stats. This is because of my stats. Encyclopedia. I have a low... Oh. Oh, okay. So these are impossible. Okay. Electrochemistry was the one with the drugs. Well, let's try to do encyclopedia, right? Low. 28%. You may retry it. Okay. So I have a 28% of success at using my encyclopedia. This is fun. Oh, check failure. Failure. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad someplace. Bad place somewhere in the past. That's too bad. All right. Impossible. I don't want to. All right, great. So I'm stuck with this creepy look on my face. There's nothing more I can do. Can't open that door. I think there must be something more. Oh, something I could do with the, the this thing right here. G get whatever this is, get it. The ceiling fan has two chain pull switches, each in a tiny fan and a light bulb. A hor oh, a horrific tech necktie. Get it. Um... You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck. Well, let's get it. Savoir faire. We have a 28%. Wow, I really should have been more agile, y'all. Check failure! Oh, you reach out and grab the tie, but what's this diffuse radiating chest pain? Oh, no. I... What? Oh, my God. I just lowered my health because I reached for a necktie? My physique is one, so it's not good. Oh my god, I just died. I just died. I just murdered myself. Oh no. You feel something in your chest. A natural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm and your jaw. Um. So I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end bad. What? I died? You only see... I literally just... Oh my god! Camp Whistle says, This is what you should have done, 1119. A detective lieutenant of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest drinker I'd ever met. <laughs> wow! Okay, well... Wow! What should we do, guys? Should I just not get the tie? Okay, listen. I guess we're gonna go with... Oh, boy. We're gonna go with, um... The ceiling fan was the bust. <laughs> I, I didn't even save it, y'all. Okay, you can get the tie later. So, I should just... I should go with 452. Oh, boy, that was really... Amber Price, happy birthday. Um, go with Thinker. Well, Thinker would be, like, 5412. I think it's... I don't think we tried to pull the string, did we? I'm going with the exact same stats. <laughs> We're going with the exact same stats. And I'm going to save and then undo it, okay? We forgot to save. I turned the fan off and I got it. All right, Els. God, somebody got me flowers and they stink like shit, right? Sorry. Sorry, babies. Never, okay. Never, let's, uh, let's just keep... Um, I should definitely... 
and an audience the amount of time passed. And okay, and then we did. I'm trying to kill you. Cakes, love. Do I want to get off. Really? Don't be naive. All right. Nothing in town to fuck. Not you. Uh, the song oh, of I picked death, something like different. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm a champion. Okay, that's what I did. I'm just mouth. trying to get back to where and we were. It, an I know. We're gonna get. Uh, we're doing it. A fire. Okay. Great. Great. See? Now we need to save it. My smell something horrendous, and I thought my dog farted when you said the smell. Flower smell bad. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. thank you, Finley. I didn't know. I don't know what kind of game this is, y'all. Okay, we're learning. We're learning together. I'm amused though. You need pants? No, I don't. I'm just gonna walk around like this. What is that? There's that. There's that. Let's just get everything. Yep, get that. Get our pants. Okay, we'll get. We're gonna get. We're gonna get it on. We're gonna get everything on. Take all. Okay, so I'm gonna save before I do anything else. Should we stay sloths from Goonies? That's the only thing that I'm like. Oh! Okay, here we go. Number one, it should open the door. The front door, maybe? All right, let's look in the mirror. I think we should stay sloth from Goonies, don't you think? Uh, wipe the mirror. Uh, okay. Touch your nose, touch your thing. I want to stay sloth from Goonies. Okay. Okay, we're not going to do it. Hey, any guild-related news to announce? No, Zootstrong. I am working on something that I actually almost finished. Well, I'm going to start rewriting it with other people, but I've finished a first draft of it. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, okay, I'm going to save. Save game. Okay. Okay, now, this is what we need to do. I'm going to put the satin shirt on. Oh, no, I need to put the set. Okay. Uh, pull on the fan. 28%. We don't do that. Pull on the fan. Okay, now. Pull on the light bulb. Oh, no! The t lights turn off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning in your brain. Pull again to turn the lights off. Okay, and now grab it. Oh, I did it! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. You have a fantastically colorful necktie with four to five different patterns. The night reminds you of a noose. Great. If it is your friend, why was it up there? Who ties their friend to a ceiling fan? Maybe this is so, thing is dangerous somehow. Holding tabs should highlight everything you can interact with. Necktie boss beaten. Okay. Should I just go out like this? I don't need a shirt, do I? Save it. Okay, well, oh, we got a shoe. We got shoes. We got another shoe. Take that, Ty. F5 quick saves. Thanks, Mischief. I feel like I don't want a shirt on. Like, for real. And should we just, like, let this door go? It don't tell us anything about it. Oh, look at this. Tie fighter. I, I like staying sloth from Goonies. Ooh, look at this. Look at this! Now, visual calculus is coming into play. Yes! I love it. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this, then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from a tool pulling back after impact. Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. I don't know, maybe there's eight million wine bottles here. A single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It also would have been heavy enough if thrown with force. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the... Oh, good, we have a smart-ass narrator. This person also forced the drinks on you. Okay, good. XP gain. This is great. Um, 
Assess the size of the impact. Sounds like what I do when I open Twitter every day. <laughs> oh, okay. Guys, let's put the shirt on. Let's just put the shirt on. Now, my question to you guys is, why won't this door open? Should I open this and use... Where's my... I have a key. Key to room number one. Hmm. Halogen watermarks. What is that? Okay. All right. Why is he constantly face palming himself? Because he wants to cover his sloth from Goody's face up. The clothes give stat buffs. Oh, okay. So that was good that we got the shirt. Okay. Oh, look at this. Let's see. The key is for the other door. Okay, the calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Hello, officer. 1951? Hello, officer. Wow. That's some shelf bangs there. Klaske, Miss Orange Disco Dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. Oh, that was me talking. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Oh! Fun fact, my parents met in a disco. Okay. Hey, Quan! You're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Wow, you have... She's... She has nailed the Uma Thurman apathy and bang and cheekbone situation. All this time? How you've long have I been here for three place? days. On oh. official police business, no less. Wait, what? I've been here three days? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Wow, I don't know what's going on. Uh, she's sassy and cool. Aha, uh -huh, look! Ah, aha! Uh -huh. This is a red check account. We, betray we try it. Should we try it? Try the, respection the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. Oh! 58! Hey! I'm a death store bloated a goner and still does the longing ever stop? Alcohol raises testosterone levels, especially in men. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You seek comfort. It's only natural. Well, wow, guys, we're learning science, too. Hey, j Roby. Toronto gal! Alright, she's got a jumpsuit and she's willing to use it, y'all. she got some sass in her back. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Is that an invitation, or is she repulsed by my sloth with Goonies thing? She got to walk. And no, it never stops. Goodbye. Okay. Wow, that was Uma Thurman all over. Okay, I need my shoe, y'all. I just need my shoe. Here we go, what's this? There's something on the table. Tea gal, tea gal, tea gal, tea gal, tea gal. There's something on the table. Take it all. That's my change. Um, we gotta, we gotta get out here and get that. Low on health. Put points into endurance. I probably will because I am so dead. <laughs> I am so close to death that I died. Let's save the game before I fell fall over. All right. Oh, look down there. Okay, let's get our shoe. We don't want to be walking around with one one shoe. Although the man with one red shoe was my favorite when I was a kid. Okay. All right, let's go. You were the one who you were the one who wanted one physique. I know, Aran, Ellen, Emily. You really you really show me, man. All right, let's go. Oh, good. If I double click, oh, look. What's this? Looks like she nipped a long. It's a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. <clears throat> Can I open it? Nope, not my not my place. Can I open her door? <clears throat> <clears throat> Knock. You hear the shower being turned on inside. She's taking a shower, don't be a creep. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Whoa, I got shower FOMO, y'all. When you have yellow marks on the ring around your head, you can click on them. Thank you, Finley Shards. It is kind of leisure suit, Larry. Um, beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. The door does not care. The door probably thinks you're a has-been loser too. You feel your funny necktie becoming tighter and tighter and tighter. Okay, don't be a creepy stalker. All right, 
What else is here? We got some here on the counter. This is a weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe le Monde. Ha! Are we in like, I don't know what we are. I'm not gonna try to like barge into her room and I don't assault ladies or I don't even think about it. Okay guys? Not cool. Bye Lizette. Oh, bye Lizette. I know you want me to play Red Dead. I need you for Red Dead. I'm sorry that I'm not playing Red Dead. I just want to try something different, but we love you no matter what. Okay, what's going on here? We might play Red Dead soon. This is where lyrics would be. God, I really know how a band works. All right, let's get up there. Oh, what is this? The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. What's up, Joe? Have I stolen literally, what is this? Is he doing taxidermy? Gart has an overbite. I feel you, guy. Cafeteria manager, a man in his late 20s, stands behind the counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring you. Somehow, something tells you you don't like me. Oh, no. Oh, You're what? a hero. A real hero, cop. What a dick. Was that dripping with sarcasm or what? That eagle is doing shots. <laughs> Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? So, I'm gonna be perceptive. You're being Am sarcastic. I, or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? Oh. I'm gonna flex. Oh, uh, it's not? Okay. I do not appreciate your tone. This is not the way You're to right. talk to Alpha. It's not. Okay, good. I mean, I am a disgusting piece of poo with a sloth face. All right. This game is so much better than Red Dead. Sheldon! I mean, Red Dead is really fun. And I paid a lot of money for it. I also paid for this one. It was 20% off, though. Uh, he has no... This is so good, guys, because all these things right here, medium success, these are all thanks to my stats, okay? So... There you go. He has no respect for you personally, but this man sees himself as a law-abiding citizen, and you represent the law. He tries to avoid outright conflict. What's with the bird? A competent work of taxidermy. Hey, this guy has secret, secret talents. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The person is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely in the wall. Whoa, who did this? Wow, somebody... I'm, you know what? I'm a cop and I'm here to investigate this. Ah, encyclopedia. This is a great skua. The seabird is a symbol for the discovery of the Insulidian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. Of course I know that. Hey, Marvelous Hunt. Something about this makes you feel bitter. Oh, gosh, guys. So you see all these stats that are just like pow, pow, pow. Look, I'm a charcuterie board again. What happened to the bird? Look. Your buddy is over there. Oh. Looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping. Why don't you go and one. talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear me, concentrating on the bird instead. No, the I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're behind a bar. And you're attending to a broken albatross, all right? What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Oh, okay. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Is it charcuterie? Is it charcuterie? I don't know, guys. I'm not guaranteeing my French or whatever language. He's the manager! I'm not a bartender. Where did she Sylvie just, go? You know. I don't know. I, if I knew, I would be able to complete your sentence. His eyes dart left, right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. Oh! She just, this is the drama, drama. So now you're a cop? Forget it. What? What are you talking about, dude? I have no other, I can't pursue this, but I, in my heart, I do. Inland Empire? You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get, your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. This is so Inland Empire. Um, well, it's, uh, my soul is immense. My soul's cubic content is obscured by a hangover. 
I'm going to do that. Of course, at this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. What should I sing when it comes to it? Ah, uh, Journey. You have yet to stumble on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You'll wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, get the people going. No, 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 don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. Cha-cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha-cha. This literally, I've never read Jack Kerouac, and I feel like this is why. Or I've never read that one guy, Hunter Thompson. Never did it. Because I feel like it's this. It's like cool and I won't get it. Hunter S. Thompson. I know. I know people are going to be like, oh, you in ignorant. B. I'm sorry. Oh, I got 666 people. People just left. All right. Um, well, let's just figure out what else we can do here. Let's look at the board. The menu has been wiped clean. It's a Monday. Ash and Change says, why? Marquez says, OMG, it's required. I told you. I told you. I told you guys. Take all. I want that thing. Nose of fed. I don't know what it is, but it was free. Auto save. Okay. Um, I guess I should talk to my friend. Let's figure this room out. It's a cafeteria. What's this right here? Mess hall reserved for union members. Door open at 4 1600. More, more bureaus or Bukowski, Bukowski, okay. What is this? This is Royal Pinball Machine, it's unplugged, okay. Here we go. Hey. Hello, sweetie. Uh, Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife, as you do. Hello. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Uh, you shouldn't keep your colleague waiting, okay. You're a cryptozoologist's wife and why are you telling me how to do my job? Cool. Um, should I go in this room first, though? I feel like I want to go in this room. Oh, I'm thinking about something. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. We're missing somebody. We're missing somebody. Did the wait- Okay, the waitress got killed, right? That's what's going on. Everybody's still going on about me! Hunter Thompson's is my life. Okay, listen, I know. I've never seen Raging Bull either, okay? I have so much to catch up on, y'all. Kim Kitsuragi, a bespectable man in an orange bomber jacket, is tapping his foot on the floor and looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Today we are playing Disco Elysium. Um, I do have alcohol-induced amnesia, so... Embrace your weirdness, my book. Thank you very much. I got... Look at this. Esprit de corps. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. Are you, sh you are sure of this, but why? Hold on. Who is he to me? He is your half-brother. You don't shake your half-brothers. I'm not going to shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Wait, what? He's my half-brother, and yet he just introduced himself? Okay. He is waiting for your name. I guess he's not my half brother. Esprit de corps. No, no, no bueno. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. This is your chance to come with a really good name for yourself. Uh, okay. Let's do it. 72%. Yes. Uh, Marvin. Marvin K. Mooney. We gotta go now. Oh, he's a half-brother as in another police officer. Oh, okay. I thought he was literally my half-brother. Maybe this is your first time meeting. I was like, I thought it was a real half-brother, okay? Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're still two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Okay, then. It okay. looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Um, my name is Gilbert, Bilbert Woobson. <laughs> exactly. Red and, red and oranges with a little bit of boop boop rhetoric. 
What he means is has he's been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. You mean him? Uh, you mean him? Yeah, just talk to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Yeah, I'm cool with now that. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Uh, yes! It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. Yeah. In full force, I mean. You know, Have like, you usually police show up three interview? days after a crime. That's cool. Ah, uh, I have it. Okay, we'll have time for that after we... See, I just fessed up to case. it, right? I didn't lie. I don't want to lie to this guy. He's my brother. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Oh my god, this is... So oh boy, three days ago and stuff. Wow, this is... This is some egregious lack of professionalism. Um... No. So the body is still in the tree. I guess. <laughs> this is the first time you detect a weariness in them. He's obviously, he would have preferred for the body to be no longer in the tree. <laughs> oh my God. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. <laughs> we should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Listen, let me just... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my, I'm just lost from Goonies, all right? <laughs> my name is Con Can't Remember. <laughs> um, what were we supposed to do? With? <laughs> he looks at me in silence. I just needed to fess it up. I could see you drank last night and the night before and that you're still drunk now, but I've seen officers go through much worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store next nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Neither the one that's been hanging in a tree for a week. That's a, it's going to be like, it's going to bloat. And then it's going to be being eaten by like parrots or something. Um, let's get going then. I just, I want I want this guy to like me. So let's just, uh, okay. After you officer. All right, great. Uh, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? I mean, you don't have a badge? Uh, it wasn't on me when I woke up. I just gotta just say it out here. Report your badge missing. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it quickly as possible, but bidding the body down. Yeah, get the body out of the tree after a week. He didn't want to disturb the crime scene, obviously. <laughs> Mulsiver says there are some fat raccoons in that tree. <laughs> okay, great. He's in my party. Yes? Uh, tell me about the case, Kim. What do you want to know? Uh, literally anything about it. Let's just fess it up. Maybe you can call me when you tell me what you do know. I know literally nothing about it. Only what you told me before. Yeah, brief me. That sounds good. Good, guys, we're getting, we're, really, we shouldn't have even, we even investigated, right? Okay, three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a report about a security card who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the Whirling and Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to visit. Okay, so this wasn't totally on me, y'all, okay? Hey, Lee. Wait. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. Ouch. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company, Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Wait, does the briefing say who the victim was? A security guard or worky of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just a hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Who was a caller? To find him. I like to be tickled by parrots. To find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of sort. The desk could neither night identify the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Uh, okay, the RCM... RCM has to be the cops. I'm not asking that. That's self-evident. Just, uh, okay. Great. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, just 
What are we doing here? <sighs> ah, secret task complete. Whoa, oh, oh, oh! I had a task! And I got experience! Guys, guys! Being, being a dummy worked! I got ding ding! Can we go over the preliminary info again? Would you say this is a mysterious case? The lieutenant can consider your question. No, it's not particularly mysterious. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involving a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put these pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Um, white male in his 40s, what more do you need? Uh, okay. Okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? <laughs> there was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was... Are you sure there's not some sex angle we should be? I'm turning into a perv. Of course we need to be a perv. I feel like we're Inspector Gadget and Penny is off screen solving this case for us. Good point. Martinez is famed for its occult sex murder rights. We'll get on it immediately. Um, I think guys dripping with sarcasm or just touched. The weary tone is the surest indicator that Lieutenant is being sarcastic. Uh... It doesn't have to be a cult. It could just be a sex murder. That's commendable. Was there anything? He is just so patient. It could still be that other worthy sex mister, mystery in your head with a dark twist, even. Oh, electrochemistry. Easy success. He's basically challenging you to sex it up with some lurid twist. Don't get right into it. Sit on it a bit, then hit him with it. Okay. If we're from the different precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a pissing competition. His disdain is clear. What do you mean? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. Still better than an imbecilic cop-off. New task. Ooh. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we inspected the victim. You should tell me now. This seems relevant. Later. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Inland Empire. Legendary. Convince Kim there's a sexy, dark mystery twist in this case. Ho, 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 please, please. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. One, one you should be ashamed of. It's no wonder the soft one doesn't want it back. That was, it was right to abandon you. Damn it, we're, we're locked, guys. Uh, I want to talk about you, Kim. Yes, you. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Well, we'll work better if we have more rapport. Okay, that's a fair point. Ooh, ooh. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna seduce somebody right now, y'all. Night, bloody albatross. What do you want to know? You're wearing glasses. That's correct. Oh, legendary failure. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can't quite muster enough testosterone. <laughs> oh, I would love to romance him. Glasses are cool. Are they? They're mostly just cumbersome. Oh, I failed. I failed at my perception. You could use a good normal pair yourself. You don't look like other people around here. That sounds racist. No. Tell me a... I know I just met you in the, right now, but... And I'm an amnesiac drunk, but... Tell me a secret about yourself. No. Your brain sends the symbol, but they... Something is paralyzing them. It has to do with the lieutenant's eyebrows. He is not happening. The eyebrows is exercising psionic control over you. What is happening to me? Something the matter, detective? This guy's got authority off the charts. With the flick of his eyebrow, he's able to make you this thrall. So what can I do about it? Nothing. You better hope he doesn't abuse his authority. There's a lot of it. Scream for help. If the lieutenant were an evil man, who knows what kind of havoc he could wreak. Fortunately, he's a committed officer of the RCM. He'll only use his powers for good. That's good. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but I'm cripplingly hungover. Tell me a secret. Maybe. Dragon ate my marbles. Round of applause. Best comment of the evening. Um, don't you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant, lieutenant's conceptual analysis skills must be rather rude. Yeah, he's not a, he's not an imaginative dude. This guy, he's all about the facts. 
The lieutenant is a police officer of the old school. His concerns are material and extrinsic. But this isn't an old school case. How do you, you know? What, think? Well, I mostly work inside my notebook. Okay, great. That's where his conversations with himself take place. All right, great. Uh, I think we're done. I don't want to... Do I want to say... Okay. Let's change the subject. I think you should know I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it, believing it, anything. I really don't remember anything. There was drinking involved. A little bit. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Easy success. There is a sudden harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. Uh. Uh. What's wrong with it? Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. Okay. Every lieutenant responsible for two sergeants and eight officers, that means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. What should I concentrate on? Try work. Uh. Can you help me? Yeah! Into the- Oh! New task! Into the day debriefing! Fine, we should get to this day first. Off hours begins at 2100. If you're still having trouble, then I can give you orientation. Fine. Okay, forget it. Nothing. Go by. Okay, great. Great, we have a new best friend. While we're talking, yeah, we're just doing a little more rot. Hey, hey, what's up? We'd like to talk to you about the murder weapon. It seems to be an albatross. Uh-oh, here we go. Mr. Gart, right? Gart. You run this place. Yep, yes, we do. He answers tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41... If you wait long enough, the body will decompose to just bones. <laughs> uh, and this is... I'm currently... What is golden liquor in a forest fire? Are it you smells kidding like me? <laughs> I'm letting this guy name me? No, man, help me out. What is golden orange and smells like liquor? Uh, no, it's I gotta you. go here. It's obviously you. You smell like liquor and you're orange. I mean, am I orange though? See, everyone agrees it's your color scheme. I'm definitely a fall. We're on the right is track. Is this what you name get name? when you call the police now? We've been waiting for a week here. I mean, I'm, I have to, I, I taxidermy the, the body and put them back on the back on the tree because it was stinking so much. Sir, Our patio is completely concern, off limits. But we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need Outer space guy! Out. Yes, of course. Okay. For a moment. The cafeteria manager fidgets under the lieutenant's gaze. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. He did his authority. But it also you took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? Ah, trick him. No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Because where she is, where is she? Is she the albatross? You changed her into an albatross, didn't you? <gasps> Drugs. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a oh, local? I got a note in my notebook. What? The Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. We have a, a very posh many, accent in Jamrock. Many cafeterias I manage. He, you do three. You, you got three, dude. Ugh. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Welcome, Shadow Demon X. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here, and I'm not going to stop. He's moved on. Again. He was promoted. That's what you think. Okay, great. I didn't imply that. Detective? Uh, he probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right then, questions. I got this. Oh, he has profound doubt. Screw you, man! Where exactly is the body? Behind the building, there's a car. They hoist him up on a tree there. I would have called the cops again. You know what I'm saying? A cop shows up and doesn't take a tree down from a body. First of all... Second of all, four days, there's a body swinging in your tree and you don't call? That's a house violation. How do we get there? See that door there? First you exit through there, then you go to the right. You see a big hole in the fence, a really big one. You go to the courtyard there, no need for the key. The key is, the hole is big enough for the Frankenjarian cavalry to get, get through. Does he want you to feel guilty for making that hole? It's implying. I, 
made a hole in the fence because, man, there's a body swinging in a tree. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? I manage three cafeterias. I have everything in life. Of course, I didn't kill him. Why did Sylvie go away? Haven't you asked me all that already? What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. No, I ask you where you were. I ask you were, where. No, I'm asking you why she left. Damn! Bo, bo, bo! Snap, snap, snap! We should play at least until we take down the body. <laughs> Ta save. Okay, we gotta save. We do need to save. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back because it's been out there for seven days. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. Wait. She went away because there's a cadaver in a tree or because you sexually harassed her? Hashtag dead body. Hashtag me too. What are we talking here, buddy? Grow a chin. The lieutenant opens his little notebook at the cover. This number is safely tucked away. Mystery solved. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer contact. This stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. Exactly. What? That's right. If there's one thing I know about myself, it's that I'm a total raging feminist. Do you have a phallus in your ear? I said I'm a feminist. Thought gained. Inexplicable feminist agenda. <laughs> oh my god. This is incredible. Oh boy. <laughs> That's good. There, but there's a timetable for this investigation. Uh, directed to us by the stages of decomposition. We need to move on. No! You just got a thought. Click on the thought cabinet below to explore it further. Ooh. That's all. Okay, we got a lot of experience. Not so fast, Mr. Feminist. You owe me 130 real. No one is saying the multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling can talk. No one. It must be mere male imagination, but... Oh, shit. Let's bail. Time to push the eject button. Sounds like a responsibility you don't need. Ah. Uh... Dip, 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 dip. What just happened? Oh, my God. I'm going to kill the cryptozoologist's wife. I didn't save it. Why? Oh, my God. Yes, and it's worrying, but that's not fixate. Look at what the stupid bird is. He has no idea what's going on. You and your fucking fingers floating in the air. The barkeep's got his mouth and gave like an idiot. You showed him. Why did I do this? Why? I think our feminist credentials might be affected by killing that lady. Oh no! Guys, I forgot to cry. I didn't. Was Back it? so soon. This did not need to happen. <laughs> Those are the mysteries of the spinal cord. Oh no! Cord. The spinal cord has yet to reveal itself to you. Wow. Its mysteries are unholy mysteries. Oh my god, I can't believe that like happened. That, it's because it is. And you are. All right, I was listen. wrong to let you go. No. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying? No. Have you felt? Oh, the good. Love? Okay, that is too bad. An old woman appears out of the blackness. We all need a little love. Are you okay? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh no, dead. Health critical! Health critical! Health critical! Health critical! Dead! <laughs> Click the heel. You feel something in your chest. Oh, heart attack. Oh, there was a heel? I can click the heel? Oh, no! Okay. All right. 
You could click on the glow. Oh, I could have used first aid. I didn't know. All right. Clearly. Oh no, it was so far ago. No. Oh my God, we lost 20 minutes of playing. Okay, guys, I need to save a little bit more. Oh no. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get back into this. Okay, we're gonna get. Oh no, this is terrible. Okay. Okay. This is the 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 whole one, having one. God damn it! All right, this is we can do this. We can do this. I know exactly. Hello. I'm shake his hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, okay. Lieutenant, Prison Fifty Seven. Okay. You must be from the Forty First. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, then. It looks okay, like we we're had just gonna, uh, in an If you don't mind, it also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally... Okay, have you Okay, I think I did. Body? Mm -hmm. So, the body, where it okay. has been hanging what if I'm not, for seven uh, days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. <sighs> okay. I, I think I just did some stuff, but... Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, okay. I'm trying to just get back, guys. I have one hit point. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, now we need to talk to him yes. and get his backstory. I'm hurrying, guys. Great, okay, we got that. Okay. Okay, good, we got this. Oh, we already did this. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Sexy, okay, we needed to do the sexy thing. He's not. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the thing. Oh boy. I didn't get the I didn't get the thing. Oh, here it is. Here it is. <gasps> oh my god. This is amazing. This was worth it. This was worth it. We convinced him that there's a sexy thing going on. Did what? The hanged man? Yes, you killed him, and then as a part of the plan, you drowned out the memory. Maybe this is why your chest feels so hollow. You did an awful thing, and you can't even bring yourself to acknowledge it. Uh, I'm going to keep it to myself. Tell me. Okay. He doesn't like it. Okay. Okay, great. We got the end of the day briefing. Okay, great. Okay, uh, talk about you. Okay, we do the glasses thing. I'm, I'm hurrying, guys. Uh... Okay, he's got the notebook. Okay. Great. Oh, great. He's from Seoul. You're about to have the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Soulite. I've never met anyone of my grandparents. I've never been to Seoul. I'm a, I'm a regular Retrovorlieri. God, that's a really easy... Their uh, their anthem must be really Richa Vorlele must be it must be very very catchy. Okay, great. All right, let's save this. Boy oh boy. Okay. Okay, great. Now, now we need we need to go. Here we go. Now we need to do yes, this. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison Fifty Seven. I did that. Me. 
It's you. I'm it's just trying to replicate everything yeah, we did. Of course. I know it took no. I okay. Really As a matter of fact, you said you did what? Okay. But you still. Yes. Now I, I will I not do what I did before. Detective. Okay. Where exactly is the body? How do we get there? He's sarcastic. Who killed him? Who killed him? Did you kill him? Did Sylvie? Why did she leave? Okay, here we go. Didn't go well. I ask her out. This stuff gets me on my nerves. We're going feminists. Do you have a phallus in here? I said I'm a feminist. Great. Okay. That's all. Now he's going to ask me for money, and this is where I almost murdered. Okay. Uh, we are not going to do this. I don't owe you shit. Oh, you don't owe me shit? Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. We do not need to assert ourselves here. We all need instructions from him. This is a proprietor, remember? All right, calm down. What is this about? You know I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here, or some backpacking asshole off the boat. Next day when they can't make the fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please give me my money. Uh-oh. Horrific necktie. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him. Did I just hear my tie speak to me twice? No one says is saying that. No one is saying the tie can talk. That would be ludicrous. It's just that you should arrest him. It would be wiser. He wants to take your money. Um. I'm going to tuck the tie away. I don't want to get rid of it. The lieutenant watches me fiddle with my horrific tie. Sweat stains under my armpits. He puts my, his hand on your shoulder. If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in this for the wages. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. <laughs> Tip from Kojira. You see the little blue and orange things over my portrait. Click those when you get damaged or lose morale. If you have the proper meds, you'll take them. Thank you so much. The tie is your new partner. Okay. What do I owe this place for? Well, let's see. Three nights of a tariff at 20 real comes to 60 real. There's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. And there'll be 40 real in damages. Another thing you annihilated is half the bar. You run a tap of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30. And that's 130. But what exactly is money? Money is what growing up people use for pay for things like this hostel room of eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, Wary. Really. Is this money? Where can I get money? Oh my god. <laughs> Why do I need it? Okay, so proceed, but don't show him the coins. I'm not showing this guy shit. Uh... What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't stand him stay longer if he doesn't. He doesn't have money on it tonight, but then... Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in the Jamrock. It's not that far away. I don't remember where my home is. I don't have a home. I'm a foundling. Officer, you really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them and ask for assistance. Pay for damages. Oh boy, I am. Okay, we auto saved. We're all good, guys. We're all good. Hey, you're, you're Zarel. Okay, this is awesome. Now, wait, we got stuff going on. We got to do this. Someone is working. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. As I said, I don't think I have one. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Ah. Uh... I don't know, near, south maybe? You really don't know, do you? I only have a vague blackened image just like my sloth from Goonie's face. A vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you could stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somewhere to the exact street, the exact number in a building? I live in a dumpster, I don't care. Fuck everything, hobo cop. Oh boy! I mean, I kinda wanna do hobo cop, but at the same time, I wanna go to my house to see if there's another outfit I could wear. Oh, there we go. Long, lonesome, long way home. You could try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. I liked Hobo Cop, but I really want my house. Okay, we got a lot of stuff going on. We've got keys. 
we've got necktie. It gives me Inland Empire. That's why it keeps doing tools. What about here? All right. Sing karaoke. Get a hold of a sad song on tape. Report your badge missing. Inspect the fist and body. Apparently, there's a pissing contest I need to talk to him about. I need to do a debriefing. I want to figure out who made the call, and I need to pay for damages. What about... I would like to talk about my feminist agenda, because that's the most important thing to me right now. Here it is. Inexplicable feminist agenda. Something stirs in you. Something interdisciplinary. Is it a newly formed reaction to the tyrannical gender roles around you, or something you've always had? One thing is for sure, you're not a mild feminist. Oh no, these are all in, 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 are in, incendiary thoughts aimed at undermining the very pillars of society. Could you fashion them into some sort of weapon, perhaps? A fist strike? A first strike weapon to decapitate the XY chromosome? Hey, wow, I love it. Solution. I don't know, it's just a problem at this point. We got no... So Plus two authority against men. This is awesome. Research time, three hours and 45 minutes. I have a side quest. Lonesome way home. We also have an encyclopedia. Let's rewind. We need to figure it out. Uh-oh, wait. I want to... No, no, no. I want to internalize. Okay, good. We're internalizing both of these, okay? So we're getting them... We're getting them... We're getting them going on. Okay. We got this. This is my f most important. Okay. Thought cabinet. Let's save it. How do I save it? Hey, why aren't you why aren't you saving, guys? Why is why is escape not working here? Alright. Let's just F5 it, okay? Great. Oh my god, it's so nice. Alright, the door is bolted. Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1 p.m. Great, so we gotta go somewhere else. Let's get out of here. Summer door is closed for the winter. Okay, great. This place is just... It's a fire trap, okay? I'm so sorry for this woman. How do I know she's Hello, a cryptozoologist? Sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? You are a handsome man, officer. I'm with your moustache and your chiseled jaw. Oh. Silly we lost the game stream? Chin. What happened? Ah, Sorry. It must have been something I touched. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. Listen, our love can't be denied, Lena. In another time and a place, she might have flirted back, but that ship has sailed long ago. Listen, I don't care if you have... I don't care if you have Crohn's disease. I don't care, okay? You're my love. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained, I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm oh, okay. Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street. But I come here for tea when they're away. Oh, this Lena's wacky enough for this motley crew. Hire her on the spot! Yeah! How'd you like to roll with me? Whatever you do mean. I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crimes, ridding backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Oh, yes, I do, Lena. I think I have a partner, sweetie. A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Okay, Kim. Wow. Oh. I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries, sequence killers, and forays into the paranatural. I can assure you, with absolute certainty, there are no sequences of killings taking place in Martinez. Damn it! Buy the mer perks of March. I wouldn't be much use to you anyway. Why, well, three heads are better than two. Thank you, but Martinez is in the most wheelchair-accessible place. You see, I slow you down. That's bullshit! We gotta change that, too! Perhaps another time? I don't know if you noticed, but I don't remember anything. Yes, officer, you look at rather days like a stunned fox, but surely things can't be that bad. Oh, yeah, they're bad. I look like Sloth from Goonies. We need to break Kim's mind somehow. She won't judge you no matter what you say. I drank so hard I forgot literally everything. Oh, my. You know where we are, right? Ah, uh, the Whirling and Rags cafeteria. It was on my keys. That's right. And where is the Whirling and Rags? It's self-located. Uh, see, I have no idea. 
We're in the city of Revachol, dear. Oh, honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Revachol. What kind of place is this? I want Hobo Cop to happen. I'm sad that I didn't get Hobo Cop happening. I guarantee there was a side quest to be Hobo Cop. Hobo Cop. Would I ever begin to tell you, Revachol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revachol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen much better days. Uh, speaking of history, do you know what year this is? Uh, it's the spring of 50 Ah, I gotta g Yeah! Take this pen! Knowledge should be rewarded! Yes! Guys, yes! Yes! Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you, but she relaxes her shoulders here. I can't tell this. I can tell this is taxing with you. I'll just go what's more, ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Um... I should have... Uh, I can't save it, y'all. I can't save it. I have to answer these questions. I cannot save in the middle of a conversation. Um, I'm going to do cop. Oh, thanks for the cheers, y'all. That's very nice of you. Um, I'm going to say cop regime. Oh boy. Did I fix it? What what? What what is going on? F5 changes scenes. You lose the game. Oh, okay. That's weird. We are living under Copperzian. Actually, we are not. You could say that about Oh, wow. Well. What Oh boy. Damn it. I was your baby cop world. Uh Guys, what is it? It's not this one. It's not this one. This one. Number two. Dave says it's three. But I know that that's not it. Not, hi, Jenner Doom. Um, what do you think, guys? It's not this one or three. It's... It's either... Let's just do one. Oh. Market Driven. Oh dear, and you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Regifil, not in the traditional sense. That's, that is a law enforcement. It has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for a day. Damn it, I want another pin. You guys, come on. What is the revolution you mentioned? A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. That was 42 years ago. Of course, sweetie. I don't know how to explain it better. I'm just a poor woman, she thinks. What, can, what do I know of these things, and how can I help you? Well, you're doing quite well until the end there. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. Remembering reality, in a word. It's very odd. Oh, boy. Kim, come on! I shouldn't wear it too much. Okay, bye. Okay, here we go. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated? Oh, good. We got a new task. Get a reality lowdown. Uh, wealthy people are educated, though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. You seem to be in a chair. What does that mean? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? If she could, this woman would feed and clothe you and every other sad lost person on earth. Yeah! Okay. Um, very high. She's gonna pay my bill. Yeah! It isn't easy of me to ask this of anyone, Lena. Cryptozoologist's wife in a wheelchair, but I'm at the end of my rope. Any money you could have could help me. <gasps> Sweetie, I have only a few cents on that. Oh, I got her. I got her jewelry. Sugar mama. Sugar mama. I could give this to you to pawn just to tide you over. Wonderful. He has a pin. Oh, I feel really bad now. 
The pin is round and slightly tarnished. The three sailbo sailboats in bass relief, with the sun hovering over the water behind them. A chipped green banner at the bottom reads St. Baptiste Summer 31, Dinghy Races. Where can I pawn the pin? Cross the plaza, follow the road down the coast. Down by the water, there'll be a shack nestled against an old stone facade. That's the pawn shop. An old friend of my husband goes there often. He says the owner is quite helpful. All right, get a bottle of... Listen, I'll just trade the pin for a bottle of wine and listen. All right, items that can be pawned at Bird's, Ro Bird's Nest Roy's appears in your inventory under items tab. Okay, great. Um, oh, it's not an ancient family heirloom or anything, but I suppose it would be nice to get it back. Okay. Uh, you seem to be in a... <gasps> I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone... Well, we knew that. There's something inspiring about a woman on the front line and leading a platoon of men. Okay. No, quite, dear. I'm not quite that old, although I was injured in the line of duty. Uh, were you a mountaineer? Were you a tightrope walker? I feel like I was in the war. Bye, outer space guy. I think I lost. That's how I feel about the accident. I was training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. Oh, no. Faulty scaffolding? Well, I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago, and I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. Thank you for clearing that up for me. Let's move on. Any other jewelry you can give me? All right. Oh, there's no bitterness. Okay, bye. Bye! Okay, let's save it. Guys, for some reason, I can't get to the save screen now. It's very odd. Which is upsetting to me. I'm pressing escape. But it's not taking me to the screen that it was before, which is very odd. Hmm. Why is this happening? It's very odd. F5 is just the quick save, but I can't do separate saves that way. It's a bug. I had to Alt-4 to correct it. Oh, Alt-F4? Oh, God! I just quit! No! Thank God I just saved! All right. Um, we'll figure it out, y'all. F5 changed my game. Okay. Oh, God. All right, here we go. We're getting back in the game, y'all. Alt F4. I knew what Alt F4 did. That was a bug? Okay, good. So it wasn't just me. I'm like, what is going on here? We're good, though. We're just going to ref... I, I don't want to not be able to save, okay? Then we're just going to have one save to go back on? Not cool. Guys, this is a really fun game. I am kind of... Okay. Kind of in love with it. Most people settle for bed after 2100 and not long after. At night, the streets are emptier by two. Great. There we go. Uh, oh, it won't let me move save. There we go. Okay, great. This is a very fun game. It's just, they're so complicated. It's like every, I, I can imagine that other choices I make, like Hobo, Hobo Cop. Okay, so let's go out the front door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, we have some stuff over here. We have some stuff over here. A bottle of rum. Really upsetting that that person would do that to that person. A man is sleeping at the table wearing mud cake boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines. And s is this another body? Is this another body? Okay, here we go. On the counter, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Um, I can't wake him up. Should I... Lieutenant, who is this? No idea. He looks like he works for Wild Pines. Why is he sleeping during the day? Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking pills. Hey, drinking and sleeping. All right, get those pills. Magnesium! I take that before bedtime, y'all. Supposedly helps me sleep. I don't really see it as a, bo a bonus, but okay. It's 5 a.m. in the UK, but I just woke up. Whoa, Flash! Um, you just picked up medicine. Okay, great. So you can press to heal your morale. Okay, so we, this will save us. Let's try to... F should I try to wake him up? No, it's locked now. Alright, it wasn't gonna happen. Alright, here we go. 
What what is coming out in spring that you're excited about for Lagasse? Lagasse. Uh, it's good for acid reflux. Yeah. Well. Okay. Let's look here. Heap of snow. What's going on here? We. I am not you going to that body. Latinus? Oh. What can I help you? With? Well, you sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have some question for you. Of course. What can I help you with? I need twenty bucks. Who are you exactly? Me? I'm just a gardener. Cool. What are you doing here? I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. She's there's discomfort. She stops mid sentence. But well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. <laughs> Lieutenant McLean says I need a guild reunion. Yes, I would love to do that. I would love to just even do just a live stream with all of us together this year. That's my goal, y'all. Don't worry, miss. We're about to clean it up. You could get to work soon. Yeah, it's so funny. Nobody comes by for this seven-day-old corpse. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. We need directions. Where's the corpse? He's there, in the yard, right through the hole in the fence. Where am I? I just tell me where we are. We're at Martin Hayes, sir. This intersection is called Roundabout North, I think. What's north? There's a pier, the Cape Side apartment building, some more tenements, not a lot. What's in the east? The Arbor Gates, some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A frites store, too. Ooh, fries, french fries, Belgian frites. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. What's on the other side of the canal? Just coast. There's a little fishing village there, a fish market, but it got closer uh, down the edge ago. What is west? Wow, this is a real world, though. Uh, it's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martin Island. There's some aliens in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about all this. I won't hold you back. Her gloves. You get the feeling you need them. Maybe because you're about to go touch a seven-day-old corpse. One more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Yeah, sure. Keep them. I have another pair. She hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. She's a, she's a sharer, y'all. All right, this is good. What is this? What is this? That must be inside, I guess. Um, okay, so through the fence to the north. What is this? Wow, look at this car, y'all. I've seen one of these around L.A. What is this? Before you stand a motor carriage, the bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the num number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion, the Cooper's Kinema motor carriage. Open the door. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a st set of steering levers, a, mi a radio microphone, and a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Um... I'm going to pull out the pull-out toolbox. Okay, I'm going to take some tools. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. All right. He's clearly a little protective of his tools, but what can you do? I'm going to take uh, all of it. Take the pry bar. Great. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. Take the chain cutters. The handles are long and sleek. Take the flashlight. Take it all. All right, great. Um, pick up the radio. Okay, I need to read. I need to use the radio. I need to report my badge stolen. The soft purr of electric kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets me through the static. Oh, thanks, Anubis. Super fried. Thank you very much. Can I join in the stick poking of said corpse? Yes, Golden Ronin. You can come on. Oh no, Abby Day Weiss says we're gonna have a heart attack from carrying too much stuff. It's probably true. Hey, that looks just like um, Anne Hathaway with red hair. Hello, this is Praytake 57. Hello, Lieutenant, may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from 41st Precinct. I'm putting him on. Um, come in, Delta 10. This is Firewalker Copy. This is Officer Alice Dimitri, Precinct 57. How can I assist you? You could swear she was friendlier to the attendant. 
Let's see. Could you connect me to the 41st precinct? Just a second! 10, 2, 10, 5. This is the 41st coming in. Over. That's your joys, Padu. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. You got this. 10-4, station 41. I got an urgent business. Over. 10-4, what's your status? Just reporting in. Over. I need to report my bad badge missing. Uh, my badge. I can't find it anymore. Basically, it's gone. Fritz is received. This is very serious. I need a 10-22, the captain. Over. Is it him? What does he want? He says he's lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Who lost his badge? Oh my god, it's like a quorum. Oh my god, Dennis the Menace grew up. Hello. Hey, Phil Sala. Dick fucking Mullen, who do you think? Whoa, oh, whoa, guys. It's Officer Dick. Mullen from the best-selling Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Hey, I'm funny. I'm a carrot top. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Okay. They're laughing at me. Okay. Ha ha. Officer lost his badge. Ha ha. Like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. He says this has probably happened to other police officers before him and he laughs sarcastically. Oh god damn it. Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dick for this. Satellite officer Vic Mal is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station over. JT Swagger, I can't rule out anything about the guild, but I have a lot of... I have several projects on the burner right now that are not guild, but I really would like to do something with the guild this year. Okay? Uh, okay. I just want to be reported. Okay, great. Report your badge missing. I got experience. I gotta get the badge. You are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Matt, come here. You gotta hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I dread. Super cop here, lost his badge. Hey, lost his badge now. Oh boy, okay. Enough with this. I have other things to discuss. Oh boy, everybody is just... G g is no one working over there? Sheldon says if you do a GoFundMe for the guild, I will happy donate. Oh, that's sh really lovely, Sheldon. Um, I appreciate that. You know, I um, I don't know what I want to do right now. I'm, I'm finishing two writing projects, but I do want to do something with the guild this year. Even if it's just hanging out with them online. Okay, okay. Ask him if he lost his gun, too. Hey, everyone's being a dick right now. Salsa Torsons, what do you know if you lost your gun, too? Uh, oh, God. No, it's gone. It's not fucking on you. Uh, don't sweat it. You don't, you don't need to have a gun to find. We, we can still have fun. It's not all over. It's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, I do, um, no apologies. I do a lot of voice work. Uh Oh, of course I didn't lose my gun. Of course not. That would be crazy. I did it, y'all. I did it. Uh thank you, Sheldon. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> uh no, I didn't <laughs> come on. No. Thank God. It would have been a nightmare. I didn't want to imagine the poor prequest would relay that kind of news to the captain. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell them to find it fast. We can't have some gang big we're running around it. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. I do a lot of cartoons. I did a lot. Uh, last year was a little slower, but I audition a lot. Listen. Um, uh, I don't know. I, am I need some money. I don't have the authority to grant you the request, but... Oh, no. Everyone's asking for money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he... Oh, but everyone is griefing me. Don't give it at asshole anything. He's just going to drink it all. All right. Hey, I got some XP for that humble asking. It is paramount to the investigation. You grant me more money. He says it's important to the case. The spoiler, I haven't agreed to any of my conventions this year, but I'm going to be deciding that on Monday. So um, it'll be rolling out. Okay. I often get offers later January, too, so I was waiting a little bit. But I, there are several. I'm going to be in Rhode, Rhode Island for sure uh, because I skipped it last year. And then I really want to do Dragon Con. So those two I definitely will be doing. And a couple of Supernatural Cons I'll be doing at least. But I need to get my schedule down. 
New year, new game, eight stone fox. He isn't getting a red cent. Request denied. Please, I'm begging you. He says he's in trouble. He doesn't have a place to sleep. Only, only dickheads work in this police place. Why, well, best you get, a, get cr crack the case before sundown. All right. Who cares what this Vicmar said? Pull on their heartstrings. Oh, okay, great. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. Please come and get me. <laughs> it's okay. You can do it, sir. Over. Did you want to do anything else? Many of your colleagues are also over here. Oh, boy. He's trying to keep you from further embarrassing yourself. All right. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm all right. I had other things. I, okay. Personal details? What? Uh, I need information. Okay, so I'm asking for information. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. I know that he's not alone. Uh... Oh boy, I just want my name! What is my name? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Rake of the Cavalry Force. My name is not Dick Mullen. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Please refer to me. Uh, have I ever told you about my life before the RCM? Hmm. 10 4. Well, that's a. Uh, does he actually want something or is he held out on district? I just want my name! For God's sake, cut this shit out. Stop this. Stop wasting time. All right, all right. I heard him. Um, I'm looking for my address. He doesn't know where he lives. <laughs> Dr. Deboggin, I never finish anything. I finished, guys, what did I finish? I finished Operencia, didn't I? Uh, seems like it. Don't tell him anything. He's been hellbound for the gutter. Let him have it. Uh, okay. Any news about my family? You probably don't want to continue around this road. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. 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 Okay. I lied about my gun. Uh-oh. 18 kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct, a small crowd has gathered around the communications officer, Jules. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter, when Officer Judith Mino enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something happen? She asks, startled. Jean Vicmel returns to her and says, What happened is my partner made contact, and it's not good. He lost his badge. He seemed confused, delirious even. He stopped to reflect. Mac, the torso, torso. Oh, tor the torso? The torso? Ugh. Oh, boy. Is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely, and apparently telling some dirty stories. Yeah, Mullen was fucked all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. The tall ginger on his right still has laughter in his eyes. Screw this guy! Yeah, Max, right. This was some gnarly stuff. I mean, before he started begging for money. Uh-oh. Enough! None of this is funny. It's sad. He's a cop. He's one of us. God damn this. Oh, look! Judith Mino says we must help him. I need rehab, y'all. Grumpy old Steve, welcome. Yeah, how do you fucking plan to do that? Get him off the drink, go jogging with him in the morning, get him a carrot juice. He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Something's trying to slip out. Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. Oh, everyone's like, this is sad, y'all. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain or anyone. We'll give him a couple days to pull his shit together. Old boy lights another cigarette and says, I guess I can hold off the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody, nothing but a prank call here. We got our last. Now get back to work. Oh, I got a new skill point, y'all. Okay. Far north. The officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. All right. Well, the white slave feels very good. Tap on the, as you tap on the gauge. Oh, next to the gauge is a red switch labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. We're not going anywhere right now. Okay, let's get out of here. Great, I'm going to save it. 
and I have to, every time I press F5, I've got to fix that later. All right, this is super fun. Um, I know, I thought this wouldn't be a good thing to, all right, we should go get that body, right? Let's talk to this one dude, and then we'll go get the body. Tommy Liu, I am a gander, a hunter, and a gatherer. I feel like a traveler. Okay. Oh, he's singing. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he's going on. From another planet. Hey there. For those new here, that tent in the back is haunted. <laughs> Tim and Daisy, welcome. Hey, what's, what's the jam, my man? Oh, what's the jam, man? It's a traffic jam for the ages. Ooh. Harbor gates of the street are shut tight. Cool. No explanation given. Cool. Workers on strike. Maybe it's because there's a dead body in a tree, dude. An all around cluster fuck. Gotcha. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo. For days upon Grumpy days. Old Steve, upon thanks days. for watching my stuff. His upon name is days. Earl. <laughs> I love that show. Feels near forever. Here. Like I was born on this here roundabout, and this was uh -huh. all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, Everybody is Bukowski the in this oil game. And the fumes Everybody's of my real suit. profend. Can you give me 40 cents? Yeah, Extravagantly imagine. afraid, but I can roll with it. It's been a whole week already. Yeah, okay. Behind the laugh is a touch of sorrow. So tell me, what do you need? Mm. Uh, you know, is it about the dead man who that's still hanging in the tree? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't been asked about it. Been wasting time right here just looking at him in a tree. Keep him busy. Busy with what? Analyze the fundamental structure and psychological condition of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries and their sad, despondent chauffeurs. And your conclusion? A sense of surprise there ain't more bodies hanging from more trees. Uh, let me see. What are you hauling, anyway? Oh, high-grade guard chronics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. Time to arrest him! Uh, he's merely joking. Wicked. I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Ha, I'm joking, my man. FALN runs a nice, clean business. This hollow cargo is mostly sporting goods, you know, tracksuits, that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grodd and Occident, though we've been making headway in the Ilarmium mint with him, whatever. <laughs> That's your machine behind you? Could I get one of those tracksuits? We're pals and I, I just can't hand out merchandise. So, okay. This rockin' beauty is my machine. Sure, it's a, like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy-duty cargo Ooh. machinery? Okay. Oh yeah. I got a Fallon 8-6 there, right there. Good eye, my man. Yeah. She's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. There it is. A little touch of sadness. I think he spent too long in this lorry. Right, I had another question. Um, what do you see in his eye? Ooh, okay. Ah, damn it. My man, I want to know about your soul. Just like that, he slips out of your reach. It's possible that yelling didn't help. Damn it! Okay, Team Toadhouse just subscribed. Thank you. All right. What do you see in his eyes? Damn it! I could have connected with that guy. All right, all right. Don't do the funny one. Care to spare some change? Oh, no, I ain't got no money. They don't pay for unfinished work. The boss is mad. So you're broke. Okay. Tell me more about the strike. It's like... Whatever's going on at the docks. Workers got blockades set up, making demands. No win in and or out. What's the union demanding? Pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane and half a company. I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. I've heard there's a company rep in town, too. Like a strike negotiator type. They knows what's up. Ooh. Let's find that person. We'll meet her soon, soon enough. What do you think the company wants? They want to keep the money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. All right, bye. Uh, this ain't really my expert area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us lorry drivers. Camagneurs. A few still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Not you? Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. He glances down the road toward the... G oh, I got him! Ah, oh, damn it! I want to see in his eyes. I want to see in his eyes. All right, bye. I'll I'll see into your eyes, Tommy Lahome, if I cut him out of your body. Okay. Let's 
save game. I don't want to have to have that conversation again. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's this? We gotta go around the corner. Okay, so this is a dead end. I'm going every- Guys, I know you want me to just get the body down, but I- uh, Part of me just doesn't want- Part of me just doesn't want to- Part of me just doesn't want to touch his, uh, that old body, but let's just do it, okay? Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's get- Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's check this trash can, and then we'll do it. Let's talk to this young kid. There are bottles inside. You could pick them up- Oh, if I had a bag! Maybe this little kid has a bag. Hey, kid. Hey, little kid. Hello, sir. Stop Hello! The store is open. Well, I'm the law. I know, sir. Okay. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh... What kind it's of store is this sir. anyway? We sell books, postcards, and some board games. Oh. It's called Crime, I want a, I want a Romance, copy of Wingspan really bad. These are famous people. Okay. Whoa, hold your horses, little girl. What's up? I know all those things. Come on. Don't you sass. Don't you sass me. I know I said I know all those god things and I do, Sir, god damn it. Are you okay? You've been standing here silently for a while now. No pressure to sub. It's fine, Tiffnal. It's a one-time fee, though. Just FYI. What kind of st Oh, is it, oh, is okay, it okay Sir, if I stand? I'll try to What's answer your name? any questions you have. I hope they're about books. My name is Annette, sir. My mother. Her name is Places. She owns the store. She's inside mingling, minding the register or organizing the stock. The girl gazes at the window, then suddenly jolts. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. And you're standing out in the cold because I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know they miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages on the book counter. She covers her face, smiling, but she's cold. Uh. I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. No. Can I help her? Kind of you to offer, sir. What could you do to help her? I should have a word with the store owner, mate, perhaps. Oh, no, no, no. I'm happy to help my mom by lowering in customers. Besides, I have a hot juice in my vacuum bottle to keep me warm. Shouldn't you be at school or something? I do have my studies at home at the moment. I have to help my mother keep this place out running. Isn't going to school more important than this? Mom says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mom says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in your life. You succeed. Oh, boy. Don't tell her that. Hey, Sir Chris Swan. In Poland, 6 a.m. How's the business going? Mom says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. They, there's talk about the house being cursed. Ooh. Behind her, the window's been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second, and then some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. Cursed in what way? Cursed in a way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. They all go... Ass up. I wouldn't really say it like that, but I guess so. I don't think curses are real. Oh, wait. This sounds rather serious. I should probably look into this. We could go into the bookstore and ask about the case, but I don't see much lore to look into here. Okay, Kim. I'm looking for demons, all right? Yes, please do look at our words inside. The postcards and board games are in, in there. What do you know about this other failed business? I'm doing anything but this quest. Nothing really, sir. Mom doesn't allow me to sneak around to the back rooms of the cellar. I don't really know what's there. How does this curse manifest itself. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. But Kim, the plasmic manifestations! No such thing! Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? No, enough about the curse. What is romance? Thanks for the b bits, Bug. It's a type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between a good man and a bad man. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about a man and a lady business, sir. What about when both of the men are bad? What about when the book with them? Oh, uh. What about, what about when everyone's poor? That's not really a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Whoa, dystopia. Sometimes you write, to re write about real life things. Have you read Kerouac? Not a romance book, sir. They're nice and pretty people and everyone is happy in the bed. What about if both the men's are bad? That's not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. What if it's written really well like Twilight? Well, maybe if it, then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. Let's write it. She would direct this kid to the nearest chimney. What about a poor man getting a rich lady? It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process or should actually be rich himself. But 
but has lost his family property unjustly like in the revolution or something. I see. Those are the unhappy books for most of the pages. People are sad about what they have lost, but then it turns out just fine in the end. What about where a book with a... I really want to know all about this. What about when it doesn't work out in the end? I haven't read many of those. Maybe she asked my mom. Yeah, you think she has one about an excruciatingly painful breakup? Like what happened with you and your, her dad? I don't think it's a romance story of the main characters break up, though. No, no, think about it. One where they plunge into a torrid spiral of pain and recrimination. It's only it's really long and drawn out, scarred for life. Phantom Limb, have you read James Joyce? Uh, no, I don't. Doesn't ring a bell. All right, I'll ask your mom. Yes, she knows books, definitely. What was that? Is that an idea for an unfinished novel stuck somewhere in your fur, right? There's a week old dead body in a tree around the corner. We're taking literature with a 12 year old. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. All right, let's look. Let's take a look, and then we're going to definitely look at that. On the cover stands a very muscular name sat surrounded by frames. Read it. Book has a rose, a pistol, and a half naked dame on its cover. Read it. This book is about pate. Read it. This book, I don't understand. It's not important. Read it. A book about a, a, a boidario culture. It promotes freedom and roaring, roaming upstream. Did it. A book of the future. The government reads your mind using radio technology. I feel like that's been brought up more than once. And so I'm kind of feeling like they're trying to hint at something there. If I had a bag, I could get some ba uh, plastic bottles. That's my thing. Oh, this is a postal. I could talk with it. Guys, I've got... Did I get something? I've got all sorts of tools now. I've got... Oh, I have a... Oh, I have a point! Purple circle came up by the books. Okay, I'll go back why, over there, Abby Day Y. Um, guys, what, what? <sighs> empathy? We need more empathy, right? Should we get more empathy or suggestion? One more hit point would be useful. Okay, how do I get a hit point? Is it endurance? Don't let the world kill you. Physique base bus plus one. Okay. All right. So we'll do this. Can I get that? It won't let me. Okay, level this up. This is it, right? All right, good. All right, I won't die from one blow. This is good. God damn it. All right. At least, it buys you at least one escape from a ceiling fan. Okay, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, wait, let's, we gotta go back over here. It was Abby Day Y's fault. Abby Day Y's fault. Here we go, look, purple. It takes willpower to even read the author's name. Jan Kaus from Iguania. Iguania, what does that mean? Should we go talk to her mom first? Let's explore the curse. No, okay, I'm gonna do this for you guys. I'm gonna do this for you guys, okay? What is this? This is Wu Saint Gislaine 8B. Alright, let's see where the body is. I can smell it. Oh no, it's alive! It's sloths from Goonies. Wait, what is this? What are you doing, kid? The letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below, a light above descending. No idea. Is that a... What is this? Is it like... This is a place... Is it a dumpster? I can... Oh, I can sleep in this! The sliding... Hobo cop! There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. Lieutenant? What do you think could be in here? Trash? Food waste from the cafeteria? They lock these containers to keep the derelict from flocking in. Could be evidence, too. Yes, I feel like there's something in there. What do you mean, feel? It's just a hunch. Maybe someone threw anything? Hmm. How do we get the lock open? We could try to use a pry bar, the one you took for my motor carriage, or, or, or we could ask for the key for the manager. He probably has one. He must also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. 3%, okay. We're gonna, um, look at these kids. All right, let's look at this. Kid, hey kid, hey kid, stop Kobo's it. Kobo's got this! Oh my God. It's like Draco Malfoy got hit in the face and, and made into a redhead. And I'm a redhead, I could say that. Wow. 
Uh, gotta go eat. Thanks, Mar Forest Master. Thanks for being here. Um, thank you. Has it affected Geek and Sundry with Critical Role starting there on Studio? Jarmore, I haven't been at Crit uh, Geek and Sundry since my, uh, like, three, three years now. Exactly three years ago. Well, two and a half years ago. I have not been there. So I, uh, I heard that a lot of people got laid off right before the holidays. My friend Sean Becker, who was the director of the Guild, used to work there, and he was let go uh, with some other people, I believe. Should I have said that? Probably. I don't know if he was let go or if he left. I don't know. I know that people left. Please don't spread that around. <laughs> I just know that some people who were friends of mine who used to work there are no longer there, which is sad, but I have nothing to do with it anymore. All right. If there was ever such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He almost He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Yeah, let's just keep that between Felicia and the 650 others. I don't know what's going on there. I have nothing to do with it anymore. Oh, yeah. Never could be, Kuno. Why are all these redheads? There are a lot of redheads around here who are just like, not happening. Uh, a kid word police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Yeah, I heard that Complex just uh, stopped a lot of their shows and let a lot of people, a lot of people go too. Web video, man. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Um, okay. Move it in the dick. Hey, that is not cool. Why would you even put that in a game? Thank you for doing everything, but they could have just changed that word. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Uh, hold on, what does that mean? The kid is obviously high. Uh, Fuck stop getting high at my crime scene. You know. Yeah, right in the mouth hole. Okay, we've got, uh, boy, we've got some really scary things. They pay you no heed and pretend not to- The shit himself! Wow, okay, listen. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! No, you should not! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener! Wow. wow. There's a lot of F-bombs here. Any babies should not be watching this. Um. Are you kids siblings? Kid, you wanna hang out? I'm not a narc. <laughs> The fuck are you talking about? He's cool. Okay. It's Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. Whoa! Whoa, we Kim. We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What you forces? Uh, the language these kids are using is pure, unfettered ID. There will be no reasoning with these creatures. Look, All I have right. questions for you. Is this saying the Kuno? Show me what she got. What she got there? What she got what there? She got there? Show um, me what she got. Kuno, kudos, kudos, Kuno, pig. Mm, okay. It's always Kuno, never I. Oh, he's using the third person perspective as a shield. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation. Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't throw that book shit at Kuno. Kuno's your lying. Trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. Oh, the kid knows he has an addictive personality. Admirably, admirable insight for his age. Oh, God. Okay, listen. What? I'm just gonna leave. Wow. This is terrible, guys. I'm not even reading this stuff out. Uh. Don't listen, just go. I'm going. All right, listen. We gotta have to get this body out. This kid's ladder is rickety, but climbable. And what is this? Someone's trying to grow herbs. Well, good luck with that. What is this? Ooh, it's a clue. It's a clue, y'all. <gasps> there are several footprints left in the mud. Left for, by work boots. Anywhere from six to 12 pairs have walked here. Get an exact count. I could do this. Yes! I love it. Go over them one by one. Standard workbook. Steel reinforced toes. No 46. Standard workbook. Steel reinforced toes. No 44. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. No 43. Number 34. Standard work boot, number 45 and 46. Which, which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle. You could tell prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Count more. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Is it number 44 or no 44? Oh, number. We're the Blues Crews right now. An aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot. But no 41. Male or female? 
Impossible to tell. You could have been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. I'm pretty good at this, ain't I? You're not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. I'm in a cutscene from a network detective show! And the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Count the rest. The glowing outline of a standard workbook, number 46, but the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Okay, guys. And yet another standard workbook, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the soul, however. The right soul is smoother and more worn. How many? Uh-oh. Hey, I'm a savant right now, Kim. There are eight. I was pretty off then. I counted 20. The same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hy hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Um, a heavy one. 200 kilogram imprint. 200? Could, be, could it be the combined weight of two people? One carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man? He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Uh, he could have been an extremely obese carrier. No, one of them was carrying him over. Possibly, yes. We're in the zone, Kim! You and me, baby! Shishan, welcome. What, why? You think, why do they have to carry him? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher and martyred him up the gallows. Maybe there was a physical, impressive strongman in their midst. Someone who wanted to impress their peers. Uh, maybe the victim wasn't conscious. Even easier to carry it on a stretcher, anyways, for future consideration. What else can you see? Light step, number 41 shoe. Could be... A woman? I don't think there's any way to be sure. Understood. Anything else? An aberration. One soul is smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it Odd Soul. Do you have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor? Or maybe a drummer? Oh boy! He regrets it the minute he says it's a drummer? So one of the people we're we'll looking for is a drummer? I'm not going to say anything. That was dumb. I don't know why I said that we're not looking for a drummer. We're looking for a group of dock workers. Listen, somebody could have a hobby. It's not a terrible idea. Kingpin could have driven through here. It's true. <gasps> the lieutenant clearly appreciates the chance to clear up the drummer issue himself. Oh my god, the writing in this is so good, y'all. Kim raises his index figure. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Interesting. I was actually thinking the same. I was. He doesn't seem to hear you. Look at south toward the traffic jam instead. We should keep our eyes around the traffic jam and see what anyone strikes up essential subject. Seems prudent. Yes, prudent. Hmm. All right. How old do you think these tracks are? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame. Yeah, you know, because the corpse is bloated and everything. It's not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for the coast, Revachal. Seven days below freezing. The day before was the last warm day. Oh, yeah! I am leveling up, y'all. Leveling up. One more hit point gets me brilliance. All right. What do you think happened here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the trees. Then after hoisting him up, they stood in the semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Yes, they all stood in the row and looked at the tree. Everything fits so well. This is so easy. It's almost like someone is whispering suggestions in your ear. Uh... We should withhold being content. We should withhold being content. What is... Wait, what are you, mild and moderately disabled? That doesn't feel like something you should do. Shut up, horrific necktie! You should get shit-faced on this dime... Oh, no. Okay. Let, let's, uh... I'll find a way to get drunk on this scene. I swear to God I will. This is not how vivid I want my inner life to be. I just want to get back to solving crime. I was so excited to be good at something for a second. Whoa! Okay, there is some language in this, and I am not going to read it out loud, okay? You should not do anything that horrific necktie tells you to do. 100%. We should celebrate by absolutely getting under the hammer in this yard. Okay. I'll pass. Can you hold on for a moment? The lieutenant doesn't understand what's happening right now. You're twisting at your tie, looking sweaty. I gotta get rid of this tie! I agree. Our assumptions could be wrong. Better not to have them confirmed just yet. Do you see anything else? We've been through it all. No. Okay. Let's get this... Maybe get the body down? Hey, kid! Stop it! The 
corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue is a ball gag in his mouth. Well, yeah, I know. It's so interesting that I wonder if con different countries might have censored different things because of different normative behavior. I would hope that maybe some of them are universally unacceptable, but um, um, you seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears to be stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. Endurance. Let go of your nose without throwing up. Nope, I don't want to throw up. God, what is it? Why is it so bad? It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow. The cop's going to blow, Kudo. Um, I don't want to throw up. I'm going to turn away. Okay, so the ladder's for kids. It wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposing. Okay, let's get the kid to go up there, right? Hey, kid. Get up there. Let that body down for me. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to... Oh. Kuno, get up there. Hey, Kuno, can you climb up there? Fuck, there's Kuno here! Okay. What do you know about this shitload pig? What's your question? I want you to get up there, Okay. Uh, Kill him, help me out. What do we want to know? If we want to waste my time, I would ask them who he is and how they got there in the usual. Um, Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing it on the dirt. Seems like a pretty fucking suspicious to me, Kuno. Okay. All right. Do you know who he is? Okay. I'm not saying any of this out loud. Popo phone? Do you know how that... Okay, 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 okay. Kudo wasn't regional? I don't know. I don't want to talk about this kid. There is no Night City anyway. He just made it up. Why are you going to be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't known where Kuno's been? Boy, this is a waste of time. He is a rejected sa satyr, isn't it? Satyr? Okay. I have... I don't like high kids. This makes me depressed. It's impossible to deduce what any of this is about. Okay, let's talk about something else. Uh, uh, the le Oh, here we go, here we go! The ladder, ever climb it? You trying to get Kuno killed? So you would say the ladder is unclimbable? Oh, Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. Okay. It's a trap. Don't climb it, Kuno! Do it, Kuno! Climb it! Okay. Oh, good. It's, uh, someone is using a racial slur. Okay, Kuno's the worst, y'all. We should get Ryan to play this. He'll add even more flavor. Well, he'll pick all the things that I would never pick. So if Ryan played this... Did I go to Pax Unplugged? No, I didn't. Didn't Rocket Soup go? What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? Hi, Scooch. I should ask about that. Do it! I was wondering about that trash container. Oh. Okay. I have some questions later. Um. We'll figure out what's going on with this kid. I feel like it's a low chance, my baby. Uh, let's see. Nope! Okay, Kuno, you must have seen all kinds of things throwing stones here. Want to help the RCM bust a murderer? Oh, boy. Okay. Kuno, you're the worst. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ease off. I want to discuss that body again. Get up there! Oh, damn it. Oh, wait. Um, I have more questions. Nope. All right. Uh, okay. So I need to up my empathy, and then I can try again. Uh... I would like to stop this kid. Should I get close to this kid, maybe? Kuno, the pig's getting... Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's okay. going on there? Fuck, are you trying to pull, pig? <laughs> uh... Is girl an insult? Ugh. I come from the woods, Kuta Vitu. You don't want to go there with me. You don't want to see what I've seen. 
Wow, is this? I've heard this in exactly what it's like in England everywhere. Is it like how? Don't be Cal traumatizing it. Eh? Get the fuck out of it. Is this how Irish people talk? Because sometimes I try to watch like an, a show with people with from Wales. <laughs> I'll hey. die before I squeal, pig. You, you there don't behind the fence? Fuck with me, I got my hands bloody. I'm not here, pig. You're not seeing this. Okay. You can still see the top of her hat from behind the fence. Well, that's a good one. Let's talk I'll to this die kid. Hey, kid! This kid shit. Fucking mind games. I'd rather die than Get the right. fuck out of here, face! You got something? Talk to me! Is it Wales? Kuno has a Liverpool accent. Thank you. We get some authority here. I'll die before what I What about this kid? Pick. Murder Child was conversed the with me. Was the case they gave me? Oh. All right. Let's go around the corner. So we got... What do we get? What do we got here? We got this. This is a winch mechanism. And then we've got this right here. Look at this. An incubus pile of roofing material. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Because there's something there. And I'm not going to get it. Damn it. Mammals like this stuff. No, there's more to this. You get the strange feeling. What feeling? Hard to say it's gone now. Feelings pass, you see, especially the small ones. What is this? It's nothing. Someone just left roofing material slanted against an old shack. Oh, no, it isn't just that. But I don't have enough skills to be able to do it. Okay, I can't get through here, it looks like. Can I get through here? No, I gotta go around. All right. All right, let's go try to get the key to the dumpster, right? Because we're gonna find that Sylvie. We're gonna find her body, right? Ooh, what's this? Electronic doorball. Okay, so we got main hall. Orlando Hair SCA. Artemite Boxing for Young Athletes, 24 window. Emma's Fashion Atelier. Taxi, Slipstream, Fortress Accident. Ice City. Whirling in Rags, East Delta Pinup, Empty Card. This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to... Hmm. Uh, should we try this? Bye, Sheldon! No one answers your call. A woman picks up the receiver. Kuno, please stop calling here. Grown-ups don't have time for your stupid games. Uh, she thinks you're the gremlin child. What would he say to this? Fuck off, pig. Yeah, that was what Kuno would say. Oops. <laughs> she didn't buy it, guys. Pardon, this is not Kuno. Who is this? Please stop calling here. I don't have time to deal with this. All right. What about Orlando hair? Okay. Uh, doesn't bode any well for anyone's hair. Boxing? 24... Nope. Emma's? Nope. Taxi? Looks like someone has melted half the plastic off with a lighter. Doesn't work anymore. Slipstream? Hello? Yes, hello, this is Tricentennial Electrics. This is a woman's voice crackling and fragile through the static. Have you come to place an order? She sounds almost antique, as if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. Her receiver must not be working, probably. Yes, I've come to place an order. My god. Sorry? It's you. My god, I didn't think I would hear your voice again. <gasps> what? What? Who cares that you don't remember her? Just go along with it. No, something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Uh. Uh, yes, it's me. I, here I am again, crawling back into your life. Michelle, just, just please. Oh boy! Why do you even call? I don't understand, you've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Of course I care. Let's just go with it. I just said I've been going through some tough time. Ever since I came to work here, it's been different, as if my mind's been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it's like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Forget about what? Oh God, please don't cry. She doesn't answer. You said it was nice. What's so nice about forgetting? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is statics and waves washing ashore on the bay. I get it, you don't want to talk to me. Nobody ever wants to talk to me. 
Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here, sa staring at the silent call box. Uh, it must have been some kind of faulty wiring. We must be st Maybe we should stop playing with the doorbell. Fuck. Wow, that was weird! Hey! Hey! I can try this again! Let's try the other ones first. It's not gonna happen. Okay, all of them. Let's try this again, right? High per percentages? Yes! Whatever she says, it can't hurt you. You're a different person now. Stronger and healthier. Although maybe not healthier. It's a bonus that you drink so hard you can't remember of your past relationships. Call her again. There's a light buzz as you press the doorbell, waiting for her to answer the call. It's cold outside and you can hear the wind blowing into the speaker. Hi, it's me again. I wanted to talk to you. My god. You hear the bad vibes again. Relax, distance yourself from it. Please don't hang up. I just want to explain myself. Before you finish yourself, the voice continues speaking. It's you. My god, I didn't get here. I was feeling your voice again. Didn't you already say that the last time we talked? Michelle, just please. Oh! It's the exact same! It's just a recording, y'all! Why didn't call you? have been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Is this some kind of joke? It doesn't matter what I'm going to say. You're just going to repeat. Is it over? Thank you. Now tell me who's responsible for this joke. Ever since I came to work here, it's been different. Wow! Say nothing. It's so nice. It's nice to be able to forget about you. You're recording. She tries it again not to she tries again not to cry, it still doesn't succeed it completely. Her quiet sobs sound old and distant as if her voice is being played off a wax. Oh wow, this is crazy. Real or not, your mirror neurons react. It feels painful to be listening to us. Why does it feel like it's my fault? Her sound melts into the static. From time to time you can hear people talking, but you can't make out words. This is where you hung up the call last time, but the recording is still going. Keep listening. A phone rings within the office with an old-fashioned chime and someone walks in wearing a pair of heels. The static is like a warm blanket warmed around the sound. Is anyone there? No one replies, but the static grows stronger like rainfall. Then a female voice speaks out, completely different from the one before. Glorious and total somehow, crawling inside your head. Her words are too cold to comprehend. She smells of sodium lights and rain streaks on car windows. Eyes like pilot lights watch you, your shape in dark hallways, guttering. So, the strange alien thought pattern ends. The lieutenant cuts in, expecting the intercom. It was a recording trapped in the circuitry from some ancient tenant. This sometimes happens. What? It has sometimes happens, Kim? Really? Wait, a recording trapped in the circuitry? Something weird just happened to me. Five points? Don't take this the wrong way, but during our short stint working together, something weird is always happening to you. All right, guys. Listen. Um, let's try to... Let's try to... Wait, okay. First of all, we have to... Short on money? Equip a plastic bag? I need a plastic bag. Okay, we got it. Oh, I have the... I have that bug again, y'all. All right, I'll just save... All right, we just... Oh, good, look. We can go in the kitchen now. Can I help you? Is the trash container out back yours? Ma, I know it belongs to the wording in rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out, that's why. And the neighbors, too. They put the trash in. They don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And as are you the only party with access to the trash container? Mom says hi. Hey, Abby Dayway's mom. It was a ghost in the machine, y'all. Well, yes, us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what that feeling is. Prod at him and find out. Doesn't it seem callous to you guarding even your leftovers from the poor? Callous? What are you, Krasmazov? Only all establishments in Revishal keep the trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. Krasmazov, Noam de Gur, was an economist and a historical materialist. He was a leading figure on the grand side of the Centennial Revolution, where he headed the nine-day government. Mazov is considered the father of scientific communism. Maybe I am Krasmazov. I'm no Krasmazov. No one was implying you were, officer. Where were we? 
We need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Yes. Uh, I've seen something here at the Whirling Yard. A thing I need to talk about. What is the thing? I saw a sign that said the mess hall is reserved for the Union. Yes, not the whole goddamn Union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He t tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings, dumb, unruly types. They think they're the big shit, but they're always good customers. They place big orders and they pay on time. That's a shame you gotta suck up to the Union to stay afloat. Ooh, I got XP. I don't, I'm simply providing a service. Or really facilitating the offering of services to paying customers and it doesn't matter, I don't have to explain myself to you. Aha, find out who is in the union box. We should find out who this loud faction is occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative and we need info. How do we find them? We don't, we have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men are hungry, even striking men. If not today, they'll be here tomorrow. Those are things called days. You sleep between them. He's saying you'll have to come after you slept. There's something else I want to ask you about. Gart, I saw another thing at the whirling. There's something else I want to... I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. You wait and see! You wait and see! I'm going to sing! We're going to sing the shit out of this place. All right. All right. Um... Let's F5 it. Okay. Um, it requires reading. Le Kembo, this is good. The dishes are drying. They smell of chemicals and pine trees. We have some... Take all of it. It's mine now. It's this. An aroma of spices, alcohol, tomato hangs in the air. That's my butthole. Um, let's talk to this guy. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. As you step in, he nods to the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Grassy and Kubek. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Grassy Kubek. Please, it's not funny. I'm not going to do it, because I'm not racist. I'm not going to make a joke out of insulting somebody's ethnicity and or nationality. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. You gotta say, you got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against one of his pots. He's, he's getting it! I don't think I need anything else from there. Stay masculine. Whatever that means. What is this? You, it's, it has a lock and it's painted blue. You immediately feel drawn to this color. Blue is for mystery. I wonder where this door leads. You do? It's a door in the back of a kitchen. Why do you care where it leaves? It's part of the whirling in rags. There's something about this place that makes me want to know. Oh, eccentric, but okay, we can look into it as a side investigation. Yes, side investigation. The door in the main investigation will merge into a stereo investigation. If you say so. Gart is the person to ask about this, the cafeteria manager. Touch the door. It feels rust to the touch. The stainless steel door is flush with the flame. Try to push on the door. It does not budge. All right, well, let's ask Gart. Listen, this is so important. I gotta know about this door. Stay masculine. Can I help There's you? secret passages. Gart, I need to know about the door. But you're not gonna let me do that. Let's ask this guy about it. They said to ask Gart about it, and then it's not available. Do you know what's behind the door? Oh, looks at me and looks away quickly. There's a mystery here. Oh, no. Stay, why is stay masculine a thing? He knows what's going on behind there. Can I help you? All right. I don't know why I can't talk to this guy. It's irritating. All right. So let's go see what's in the trash can. What's up? Anything going on? Okay. Let's talk to... Let's talk to Kim. He might have some insight. How do I talk to yes. Kim? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm not the murderer, guys. I'm not the murderer. You'll find the... Sarah the Pearl, I think the last time I felt this confused about a game is the last time I watched Ryan and Felicia play Chariot. Well, Deceptive Mirror, um, it's not, it's not a clear game, but I love it so much. I'm sure I would have more people watching if we played. Uh, here we go. This is the logo of the municipality of Revelock. Now let's open it. Uh, open the padlock with the key. The well-oiled crack. But with a well oiled crack, the lock pops open. It should be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't! Maybe you shouldn't! Oh, 
Didn't I just have a premonition that there's something in there? There is, but you won't like it. Sweat forms on your brow. Your hand is on the lid. Open the lid! Yes! The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. This form feels more like Brazil than Blade Runner, for sure. Hor Hi, Corgum! I'm multitasking. You cannot multitask with this game, Sarah the Pearl. You have to devote every second to watching my stream. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for a week. All right, let's look under the box of cartons. You see milk, an, e an egg rest with one broken egg in it, some pasta wrappers. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hand, a Batiste Soleil cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below and turbo noodle. Noodles, nothing of note, however. Pick at the rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. We're getting us some Levi's, guys. Grab those pants. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothing? Cadaverine ovary is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages. Of, you know, like day two, three, three, four. Hey, you have a bag? Can I have that to collect some bottles? Drop them in here, officer. Bag the travel. Trousers. Guitar, mark blue jeans, pockets empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too, a wide belt. Loops appeared stretched, but the belt is misting. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. Let's do it. Hop Cobos just scored some... Yeah, Hobo Cop just scored Hobo Pants. You're right, Toronto gal. Oh! Another outfit! A drab, long sleeved shirt, olive-covered, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Mm, mm, pus. Bag the shirt. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just ki kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug catches your eye, but other than that, a thrown out towel, a mug, that's all. Who put the clothes in the trash? All right, we should go to guard again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as something from the ho hostel cleaning the yard or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. Yeah, we need to ask the kids who put him there. You think somebody from the Whirling might have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked in this establishment. had the key. It's a small loose thread. All right. Search the food waste. It's just organic waste. But hey. Nothing. It's nothing more to see here. What? What's this? Ah! Oh! Ah! Uh -huh! A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. It looks like the corner of something. Oh, <gasps> don't, don't, don't. It's a, it's a clipboard. Make out forms and notes. It's a, in a man's handwriting. How do I know it's a man's handwriting, guys? Officer, is that your paperwork? I don't know what this is. Uh-oh. It is. Look, the plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got a top topsy form in there. A miserable looking slip of paper sticks to the board. Oh no! Did I throw it out? Or... If you don't mind me asking, how'd this get in the trash? Uh... I don't know, y'all! It must have been cramping my style. What are you talking about? I don't know. You should take stock of your notes. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names. If some have fallen into the hands of the R RCM adversaries, bloodletting may well ensue. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. It would not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Um, boy, guys. I don't think I put that there. Good night, Fluffle Cat. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Some items, such as your ledger you found, are interactable. Go to your inventory and find the interact tab. Okay. I'm getting them mugged, too. You pick out a broken mug with an oddly racist... Ew, guys! What is with all the very problematic things in this game? All right. Hmm. I got it. I got... Oh. I do not like even saying that. Okay. Not cool. For the record, not cool. Why do we need things like that? Okay, let's look at it. Okay, close the lid. Leave. Now let's F6 it. We gotta go. We gotta go in five minutes. Um, we're gonna talk to these kids. Oh, what is this? Thought complete. 
Wait! It's complete! My inexplicable feminist agenda is complete! There is something you need to see, sir. We have found the remnants of an ancient artifact lodged in your hypothalamus. It is a cylindrical object, piss-weathered and smelling of liquor. The paint is peeling off, but you can clearly make out the letters Revolutionary Feminist Agenda on the hall. It appears that some time ago, before you became a joke, you were an actual feminist. Somehow you come back to that conclusion. Perhaps you can work your way back. Plus one empathy! Could evolve into RFA. That's great. Would have, have to quit drugs to get there. That's fine. Yay! Look at that, y'all! I love it! Piss weathered. Um, okay, so we saved it. Let's save it again because I did get that. And we really, I could play this for hours more. Let's talk to Kuno. Hey, Kuno, gotta talk Fuck, to you. Fuck, is Kuno okay? No, oh, they're not gonna do anything. Hey, kid, you have anything to say? Or let's just finish I'll die the- I'll before I- all right, let's just finish the loop on, let's just finish the, close the loop on, um, let's, oh wait, we're supposed to ask that gardener something too. Okay, we'll ask this guy something. Okay, let's ask the manager something. We really do need to go to bed. Oh my God, I'm having so much Can fun. Can I help you? Uh, here's your trash container key. I found the victim's clothing. How strange. I certainly didn't put them in there. Uh, could... Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleep blocking or in a feud state. Who else has keys to the trash container? The trash collection service? I don't see why I would put anything in the trash. They would put anything in the trash. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last week and when. This will have to be one of those little threads that solves itself down the road. Can someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with a crime scene. Well, maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking. I think fugue states are your forte. Okay, touche. Bye. All right, let's go ask the gardener something. And go into the bookstore, and then we'll go to night-night. Kim is great. Guys, this is just really important for me to finish this game right now. Hello again, officer. Tell me exactly what you've been doing in your greenhouse in March. Dun, dun, dun. Well, uh, uh, this is maybe the last snow we get. At least I hope so. Snow has nutrition in it. It helps everything uh, green up in the spring. At this, that's what my grandma always told me. Yeah, think about the cute grandma, not the weird snow. Squint your eyes and look at her intently. Ah! Stop looking at her. Look around. What do you see? Uh, an entrance to the yard? That's right. And the canal and the bookstore and the harbor gates? That's a great vantage point for keeping an eye on you. Are you by chance keeping an eye on this? No, of course not. I do not understand what this is about. She looks toward the yard and her expression clears. The kid did this, right? The red hair rat? He can't say a sentence without... He always gives me trouble. I was talking to him, yes. Maybe you shouldn't be. I mean, you, you do your job, but that kid is beyond help, and he certainly won't help you. She shakes her head. You've been resting here for quite a while, haven't you? The lieutenant intervenes, looking at her intently. Ooh, Kim's on to her! Yes, I'm tired. I understand that RCM isn't welcome here, and the locals want to keep an eye on us. Yeah! Can we introduce Kuno to the super empathetic lady in the wheelchair? I feel she'd straighten him out, or run him over. I think he'd probably stab her in the face, but okay. Kuno is the terriblest. Task complete. There's silence. The smallest of smiles. Yeah, we got her, guys. We got her. That's okay, miss. Do what you have to do. I think we're done here. Oh, wow. That is great. Okay. Well, we need to go to the books. Let's go to the bookstore because I want to learn about this. Um, I really want to learn about the curse. Okay. Good night, Ripper. I really... Guys, I'm leaving. 10, 10. I'm off. Five minutes, okay? Five minutes. There's a box by the greenhouse. Um, oh, okay. Happy day away. Oh, look. This display rack is brimming with worn paperbacks, featuring an extremely muscular sword William barbarian on the cover. Nearly all the titles contain the word Hemdall somewhere. Storekeep, tell me about the Muscle Man books. Oh, Man from Hemdall, a very popular series of adventure novels. They're awfully immoral and violent. Why are they so popular? 
Blood and violence, scantily clad women, epic narratives, all those mystical things he encounters. They're bound to grab those with little imagination and nothing to do. Sounds good. Which one should I start with? What does it matter? They're all the same. However, the customer's always right, they say. If you're a novice of the series, I'd recommend Hem Dollar Man, the man from Hem Dollar. It's supposed to be a good intro. I want to buy them! Damn it! Look through the display of books. Rows and rows of Hem Dollar Men blur your vision. You make up some titles. Men from Hemdal and the Mammoth Riders. Men from Hemdal return to Hemdal. And the Soloptic Men from Hemdal and the Hemdal Men. Good God, how many of them are there? Maybe a hundred? Men from Hemdal and the Sages at the End of the World. Men from Hemdal and the False God. Men from Hemdal and the Scorched Earth, etc. And the Snow Crabs, is that all? Not even close. Men from Hemdal and Hell. Men from Hemdal and the Forest of Slaves. Men from Hemdal under the lake. Okay. Pain threshold, very low. Oh, I- oh my god! I succeeded! Oh my god, I succeeded! Your hand reaches out to a book with a glossy cover-up for a very muscular man from Hemdal in chains. Kneeling in front of a staircase leading to a throne, a woman sits on the throne leering at the man. She's laughing at him, belittling him. Is that the one I'm drawn to? Between the throne and the Hemdaller men lies a bonfire casting shadows on the wall. The shadow of the woman's headdress looks like a pair of devil horns. The title reads, Man from Hemdall and the Devil Woman. Storekeep, this book is misogynist. How can you peddle such filth? The entire series is also endearingly racist, if I might add. What is endearingly racist? There is nothing. Those are do-do words you're not coming. I don't know. The display. Oh my god, that was amazing. I want to buy it. I want to buy that book. Oh my god, I really want to buy that book, y'all. What board game? Oh my god, we could spend 20 minutes just in here. What board games do you have? Wonderful ones. Okay, I don't want to get a... Um, Route Bringer is a fun game of economic competition. Who are you going to play board games with? Do I have friends? I don't feel like... Okay. Okay, oh my god. Guys, let's see. I just want to see if it's cursed or not. I want to buy it. What about these real all things? No role playing game. No role playing games are popular amongst those type. You know those who are into those kind of things. I don't like it. Not at all. I heard they turn people into cult enthusiasts. They have rituals where they try to summon entities. Highly immoral. Hmm. Endless book of source books, lore books, codices. Hmm. No guys, Welkin Compendium, second edition. There's also a large ho hardbound tome with an intricate car cover. Hmm. Anything else catch my eye? There's a box that says Where All, third edition mega setting supplements module. God, I really want this. That, is, that price is steep, but then it's a third edition mega setting supplement, so it makes sense. Damn it! Why can't I have, ah, oh, I just want money. <laughs> Old sports magazines. I just want to know if it's cursed, y'all. All right. What's in here? I just want to go upstairs and re look at everything and know what everything is got. A quaint picture brochure. What's this? A tome of fascist magic. Here's this. Another boring book just discarded here. Boy, guys, this is a deep, deep game. Parent, paranatural literature. What books are these? No browsing that shelf. That wisdom is not for free. Ooh. Guys, I think there's going to be magic in this game. I can't have you ending up like opening a police store box next door and stealing my customers. Oh, no. Look through the shelf. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone called Matthias the Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, and bad balance. These things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book and many others on the shelf is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health service. How does that work? It serves platitudes while also telling everyone that traditional medicine is garbage and would only give you cancer anyway, even without curing your cold or anything. Okay, that's good. It's like Deepak Chopra, right? When it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. The book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium. Hey! How to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic who has destroyed his liver and what? I need that book! There's even a chapter on the ancient Ceres' tradition of using duck gallbladder to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Nothing worth buying. I want that. Oh, look at this, guys. Find something truly underworldly. 
Exploring books is a nice palate cleanser after talking to Kuno. Thank you, Toronto Gown. Oh, look at this, guys. 92%. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a, gr a small green book becomes apparent. The title of it reads, Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. What's the pale? The book contains very little explanation on the matter. This knowledge seems to be taken for granted. What's this book about? The book considers contains descriptions of various pseudoscientific therapies, alternative medicines, folk remedies involving the pale, known as le ter territoire. For example, it recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or a hand broom made from the leafy twigs of a young birch tree from the near pale. Sounds great. It is, and it's very good for the circulation too. What else? It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in pale. Readers are instructed to cover these jars in a shallow hole just inside the pail and leave them there for 30 to 60 days, depending on the potency desired. And what does this liquor do? Among other benefits, it is alleged to restore a damaged liver to perfect health. <gasps> that seems improbable. I should probably get my hands on some of that. Where is this in there? For general health and well-being, readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the pail. Though a sidebar cautions readers to limit each stroll to less than an hour, these strolls promise to cleanse the body of... Body, oh, boy. Nudity figures prominently in a number of these prescriptions. Oh, okay. I am definitely the pale. There are an entire section devoted to cures for men who have struggled to perform their marital obligations. Well, I probably need that. Okay. L okay. I. Oh, man, I would love to buy it, but I can't. All right, we gotta go. We gotta finish this up here, though. Maps. Oh. There's la there, the board has come loose from one quarter. The large map displays the archipelagos. You see a constellation of small dots on the light blue emptiness of the insulitic ocean. The largest in the northeast is Le Calois. Another, far away, is Seminese Islands. What else? Oh my god. Uh, disintegrate. Oh, guys, can you see the cities on the islands? You can on Kualua. Okay, so we have... All right, it's just a map, guys. 85, 850 million people live on these little dots. Wow, an oceanic world of culture and commerce torn apart by history. This is interesting, guys. Very interesting world building here. After the library section, there'll be an inventory management... Oh, I need to do that thing in my inventory, don't I? The ocean breaks apart into a cosines and azimuths. All right, connections to other worlds. Pa worlds words past Insulandian, unknown to you. You only never, you only know you've never been there. You have little idea what they are. Oh, okay, so I don't know any of this. And they're very far away. Um, can I buy these maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you can scarcely afford them. You don't know what's in my pockets. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. You seem to, why is the one at Martinez? That old thing, it's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that was never nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up, they also renovated the horse statue and set up those corn-operated viewers. And, 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 okay, so what happened then? Well, it didn't get far for some reason. Shame the project never got going. Well, I should buy this, right? Oh, I cannot steal it. I should buy it, right? I bought it, it's fine. I have that pin I need to, you know, I need this thing. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 and Martinez, blah, 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 okay. Look at the map of Martinez, it's not really a map. It says, a date in the upper right corner says 48. I bought this. All right, great. I just had this one thing to do. Guys, I know, I can't stop. Um, anything of note in the shell? Well, the greatest innocence. Yes, most certainly, it's important. Educational too. Delving into the depths of history, religion, and the relations to innocentic power. What or what is an innocence? A very influential historical figure, but surely I don't have to tell you that. You're a law officer, and law officers have at least some education. The book is also very daring. The author aims to re-examine the universal understandings of the innocent cynicism. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I can't buy that. I'm going to do this. I'm just, okay, guys. Can't read everything. Can't read everything. Bay. Okay, we're done with the library. Wait, we didn't do the shelf, did we? Oh, my God. Oh, their crime novel with Dick Mullen over with. Oh, wow, guys. If Alicia ever gets a bookstore game, we're doing a five-day marathon. I know, guys. I just want to look. I want to see if there's something, like, I could do in the back. 
sexual crimes. We're fortunate to have Dick Mullen in his stories to set all that out. Look through the display of books. It's asinine. They greatly overstate the excitement of police work, and they completely ignore the psychological hardship of coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Detective Vision doesn't tell the truth. Would you like to like a list of the books found on the shelves? Yes. Dick Mullen, get on the job. Get me Mullen. Dick Mullen and the murder in the orchard. Dick Mullen dies? The murder of Dick Mullen? Oh no, turns out he faked it to solve a case. Are there more? The dame who did it. Farewell, my Mullen. The morbid tale of Dick Mullen. A dark tide turns. Tragedy calls for Dick Mullen. Dick Mullen, the murderer. Come on, this is not the way we'll police solve murders. Let's let's go. Oh wait, now we're, we're we're flashing out to the other cops now. Again, man, I tell this once a month. It's not that interesting. The fuck it is, and these guys haven't heard it. You see, Chester here. Chester faked his own death once. Gosh, why? Very fucking dangerous case of that, right, Chester? That's almost got you that time. Yeah, sure, it came close. All right, so I was tailing this guy called Francis' shoe. The inside of the motor carriage was thick with cigarette smoke. Outside, it started to rain. Ugh, after all this, you still haven't found the answer to the one question that matters. Who is Dick Molden? Let's see, do we fi do we get it? No, failure! Okay, fine. Okay. Well, guys, let's save it so we never have to do that again. And let's go in the back, and then if we see if we can steal anything, and then we'll be done. You see a set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from Excuse me, officer. The back room is strictly for employees only. Examine the straight. You see some kind of charm, a, le a regular polyhedron. Assembled from bones and sticks and straw, inside a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. From the looks of it, this is a traditional Seminese ward, meant to provide protection against ill luck. And who are the Seminese? Inhabitants? Okay, we got that already. There's nothing else to fish head to at this time. What's behind the curtains? Nothing! Now please go back to browsing books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? The books are all you care about. Okay, bitch, don't try to sorcel me. She speaks almost as if she's trying to put a spell on you, urging you to buy more books. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. That's it! Just so you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more, Don't touch that! I told you it's off limits for cu customers! Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous! Oh. This is about the curse, isn't it? This is why you're afraid? No, it's just a storeroom for employees, I told you. Please step away from the curtains. Ma'am, this is different. I s what, what, uh. Oh, guys. Should I think about it or should I go? Should I go? Guys, should I go? It's not like anyone was killed in there. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be impolite. I just don't go in there. I can't allow it. You'll only make things worse and unleash powers. But I sense this place calling for her. I must invest beyond. She took over the bookshop, but she didn't buy it. She killed somebody. You do? My God, even more reason not to mess with the curtains. Just step away, dears. I don't care. I'm going in. Please, just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Okay. All right, let's... Okay, we're going to stop there. Yay! We're going to save it. Yep. We're going to quit the game. I know, cliffhanger, guys. This is a good game. I will definitely be playing more of this. I'm not going to do it. We'll do it first thing. We're going to talk to her. I know. So I'm terrible. Um, I really appreciate your being here. I will be streaming next week. If I get a chance to stream during this week, you can bet I might want to fit in another stream. Ah, such a good game. Um, okay, so cliffhanger in a bookshop. That's probably my best thing. Thank you for subscribing. Um, please spread word if you uh, like people. Uh, just tell people, hey, come to the Discord. Come over to discord.gg slash Felicia Day. We need new people hanging out. Um, I have a new Felicitations podcast that will be coming out and catch up on Voyage to the Stars. Thank you, mods. Thank you, everybody. And I will be doing a new Felicitations podcast. So please leave a question for me. Hashtag Felicitations on Twitter. Thank you, Sir Sand. Looky Look, Rocket Soup, Toronto Gal, all my mods. In the in here, I like you very much. Okay, have a great week. Happy New Year. <laughs>